that's no moon. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to day two, your top 32 of the world, the world championships for Star Wars Legion. I am Cockles. The rest of the team are just preparing. We have our first matchup. Uh, it is um, Martin or Marcus, Marcus Vaca from Germany uh, versus Antoine, Antoine Grané from France. It is the Ewoks versus the Shadow Collective. I believe it is Shadow Collective that he's running. I'm just interested to list when he gets over here in a bit. Uh, so we have a very, very high quality match for you to start the day with. Um, everyone is well rested. Uh, everyone is looking forward to this day. Um, <clears throat> John is John has managed to get himself uh, some time off. He's going to go play a game, and it, you, we will be joined by Andy in his place. So you'll have Zane will be outnumbered by double Brits. Um, so yeah, he can experience the full humour of that one. Zane's just getting his headphones on. Here we go. And we have our judge. Uh, here we go. Yeah, you do that. I'm, I'm just well, keeping the stream company. Here comes Andy. Andy's going to come in thinking he's been working all weekend, but no, no, no. <laughs> yes, Andy, uh, Zane's off to find red and blue. Andy is in the booth. Uh, right, so any minute. Marcus is red, Antoine is blue. is Antoine Grané, which is him. Just making sure we spell the names right for the for our ladies players. O-I-N-E, and then Grané is G-R-A-N-E. Uh, we have done, yep. Yep. Sounds so much better in French because in English that would be granite. Marcus is Vaca. Uh, these guys uh, yesterday finished um, second and fourth respectively in the in their in the day. Uh, I'm live. I'm talking to the stream, my friends, because uh, because that's what we do when we're here. <laughs> I know, but they're 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 here. And here he is, the man, the myth, the dog muncher. Ah, oh, good Terrell. morning. Welcome to the booth. Welcome to uh, welcome to hard work. Is it hard work? Yeah, it, is. it looks easy. You just uh, sit here, talk Legion, like chat with some friends and mates, and have a laugh. Uh, two things can be true. Isn't that just how all our podcasts go? Uh, yeah, there is that. But we have, but but now we're working with the Avin base. We are a we're upping our professional game. Oh, the equipment here for make up in our professional game is like huge. <laughs> yep. Like the the rig, the extra cameras, the the whole um, 
shebang on everything that we've got set up for like the screen and everything. Something to aspire to. It is. For us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's that. Uh, I mean, uh, if there's any investors out there <laughs> to, to buy the equipment for so us. <laughs> here comes turn one uh, flop. Uh, obviously, we'll transition the camera shortly. Uh, so we have when the hand shifts. Breakthrough. Oh, hello, Zane. And it's all in French, too. Oui. I just realized that. I was oh, like, uh, we have Porsche. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, I was, was like, what? It was like, what's Danger Porsche? Uh, <laughs> carriage Le Explosives, which well, is a bombing run. Between it being in French or German. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same thing happened last year, too. I think Marcus put his stuff down. We were like, what does that say? What does that <laughs> the, the bonus, I can speak here. I just can't read it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, payload, not payload, breakthrough, excuse me, breakthrough of AP and, and uh, fortified. Oh, no, and what's that? Clear. Favreval would be clear conditions, I suppose. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Uh, position fortifié would be fortified. For, that's yeah, I'm also just looking at the artwork. Yeah, yeah. that's the easier way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every day is a school day. <laughs> Learning. Good morning, Josh. Our judge to our right. Head judge. Head judge, Josh. Um, so obviously clear conditions is gone. I don't like that. Yeah. Oh, oh. Makes it well, easier. <laughs> I think here because obviously um, Anton, it's his deck. He loves every single thing here. Antoine. He's gonna um, push for that limited viz, which basically gives um, Marcus a choice between either playing breakthrough or intercept only, because he's only gonna be able to ban once. Yep. Um, or he can get rid of advanced positions. Um, which <laughs> and, I, and I will say both of these players before they got turn zero here they figured out blue red fairly quickly oh yeah um, but then there was a lot of measuring from both sides um, welcome to the big leagues yeah I mean, lot, lots of pre-measuring to see what exactly deployment looked like um, they even had like command cards or the battle deck out there measuring seeing where deployments were going to be so we're getting you guys some uh, some top stuff uh, coming in today. I think it's quite um, a show of where they're, they're ranked, though, because yes. uh, obviously um, Anton, known as Tazar Online, is currently second in uh, ELO rankings. Wow. And Matten, he was quite... Uh, he's 19th. Uh, yeah. So this is going to affect their ELO huge. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and it's, it, the funny enough thing is I was, I was talking to uh, Marcus before this, and he was like, the one thing I don't want to face is Ewoks. <laughs> and then they, they, they paired that matchup, and I was like, because it's all random, right? Yep. We, we, yeah. don't, we don't select no, no, it. No. It's, it's, it's completely random. So when it randomly generated this round, that popped up, and I was like, yeah, sorry, Marcus, that's what we're taking. <laughs> so, what, is, um, what is he running? Um, he is running. It's probably, all, it's probably all in German, so I'm not going to grab his printed list. Like it's all Pike. He's, uh, I think he's Shadow Collective. Oh, it's if the I believe. Pike with Bosks. I think it might be Shadow, Shadow, Shadow Pike's ban. Yeah. Okay, so he's banned into, into Intercept with Limited Viz. Yeah. And Fortified as well. Now yeah, and so this is, so this is uh, Marcus's last uh, veto here. Yeah, so I mean, I'd be surprised if he leaves Limited Viz up. Yeah. No, exactly. So yeah. that's what I was yeah. saying. Like, Anton's yeah. forced that he only gets one ban. Yeah. But with advanced positions, with Ewoks, they're now scouting right. parties. So, so intercept, uh, intercept, advanced and environmental hostile. How do you, environmental hostile? I don't know how you. Environmental hostile. Environmental hostile. Something that sounds more Spanish, maybe. But yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, they're all romantic <laughs> languages, so they work together. They are. They are. They're all romantic languages over in Spain, France, and then you come over the over the English Channel. It sounds like this. <laughs> Was it clear condition? Was it? No, that was uh, in, uh, hostile environment. Hostile, yeah. Clear conditions went in the first one. And uh, advanced positions. I hope you have spelled all that. They've left me in charge. Of spelling. <laughs> and oh, updating no. the screen. <laughs> Good morning, chat. Uh, hoping to see, get to see the guy in the top right on stream. Um, I don't know who that is. 
Never mind. Um, yep, sorry, and Pop. We are we are now down with the tactical muting. Uh, so, would you guys like me to read uh, Antoine's list here? We oui, please. Okay, so Antoine is uh, playing Ewoks Never Die, a <laughs> seven seventy four point activation 14 774 points 14 activation Ewok list I think this is what he's been running in Europe correct oh, yeah. Yeah. this is what he ran at WTC yep right so he went 6 note WTC and coming here he was um, 30 uh, 28 and 0 I think oh golly so he knows this list he knows yeah. what he's doing so he's got commanders Han Solo with the steam leader recon intel C-3PO Log Ray with improvised order secret ingredients Wicket forest dwellers situational awareness He's got Operative Chewy uh, with CZ Initiative Recon Intel. For Core, he has two Ewok Skirmishers with the Axe and the Call to Arms. And then one, two, three, four Ewok Skirmishers just as they are. Special Forces, he has one Ewok Slinger with the Ewok Trapper and Forest Dwellers. And then just two naked Ewok Slingers. So, what? that's what is the effect? wild. How many health is this list? A lot. I mean, so a, a base unit is what? Six? Yeah. And so you've You've got with the Ewok skirmishers of the axe. Six, six, six. So, six, you're, so six, you're seven there. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, plus another. Six, so he's got eight. six that are naked. Yeah. All throughout. So that's thirty-six. Thirty-six, and then he's got one, two, three that have an extra man for seven. So seven point twenty-one, fifty-seven. Yeah, and then you've got Chewy with nine. So and then w Wicked. Sixty-five. Uh, Sixty-six. And then Wicked is. Five? Yeah, yeah, I think Wicked is five. Log is four. 74. C3PO is four, I believe. 78. <laughs> and then Han is six? Six. Yeah. Bloody hell. 84, 84. health? Yeah. That's so, a lot. Now, that said, that is the same amount of hit points as our Wookiee list as yesterday. As our Wookiee list yesterday. But yeah. your Wookiees don't have low profile. Exactly. No. Exactly. <laughs> They're going to get I'd shot up. very impressed if I can yeah. see a low profile Wookiee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you then probably would mistake it for an Ewok, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think, do you know what part of the, I think part of the, uh, the method, the magic of this list is, at the moment, what it's doing. You send, someone says, I don't want to play this list, I don't want to play this list, gets in your head. Yeah. I so think, you, yeah. There, is a, there is all, there's always, and I said this, I've said this about, players if you come up against someone who's got reputation so someone goes up and says say in Britain you're playing first game you're playing Ollie everyone goes oh, horrible Ollie, uh, yeah. Ollie said that happened to him yesterday he said like I think it was his game three or something um, he was playing him and then his mate came over his opponent's mate came over to him he's like oh do you know who that is he's like no he's like oh he came fifth last year he's uh, does a oh. podcast he's like this on the ELO ranking or whatever and the guy just went Oh. Yeah. So and then from that moment on, Ollie said he just started making loads of mistakes. Oh, he was fine up until that point. Man. Yeah. Like, oh. So you 100% agree. But, like, but yeah. equally, it does work the other way around because you are, you are like Luke. I, I've had this Luke conversation Cook. with Luke Cook, yeah. um, which you'll see later it gets published. Um, he's always he, I have a target on my back. So I have, I know people will have that as a scalp if I, if I lose. Yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, he lost to Antoine in France. Antoine, yeah. very, very gracious about it. Right. Then there will be other people who will see targets on people and go, I beat them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So there we go. All right. We have uh, Maul and the Fisherman are back. No, sorry. Maul and the Fishman are back. Fishman, yeah. <laughs> Maul and the Fishman. Maul and the Fishman. Sorry. We're American. Maul, Maul and the Fishman. Are back. Maul, Maul and the Fishmans. Uh, we have. I, I'm not doing the accents. Uh, this one. <laughs> we, we, did, we did one of the list reading for Zyconia in Aussie yesterday. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was <laughs> so do you so uh, much fun. Some, do some great bowling, mate? Yeah, <laughs> bowling, Shane. Uh, right. <laughs> we have two Pike Capos with nothing on. Maul with Force Barrier, Force Push into the fray and the Dark Saber. Mark two. Um, <laughs> I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six Pikes. All with the disruptor and the capo, except for one which couldn't afford the capo. Nice. At, at nine activations <laughs> and 798. That's an easy one to read out. Um, okay. Mark, pretty, yeah, pretty slim down. What were the force powers again, sorry? The, the push. Ba barrier push. Barrier push. Okay. It, it is full defenses tech, which will be completely wasted here. Right, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Martin uh, is a, uh, I would call a Shadow Collective veteran. Yeah. Um, I went to Bremen uh, two years ago. He won out the Star Wars Legion in Norden, uh, Bremen over yeah, the yeah. thing that Finn runs. 
um, with Shadow Collective. He ran Swoops, Mall, Bus, and, and various other bits. Oh, Fury Road. Yeah, similar. <laughs> yeah, but not not Black Suns. Yeah, there were pikes then. Uh, I, no one had discovered the, the joy of the Black Suns until Lila. <laughs> to make yeah. That happen. Um, so he ran that. He beat uh, Technophobia in the final. He beat Lucas Eustick. Uh It was a great game to watch. Uh, and yeah. So uh, Martin is a true Shadow veteran. Tom Smith would be very, very happy. He's on stream right now. I mean. This is going to be a great stream for anyone to come back to and watch and, this. And, and this is why I picked these guys, too, because I was mm -hmm. like, these are both oh, you. top players yeah. that, like, not only these players will want to come back and watch this for sure. Oh, um, they will. But, you know, I know the entire German team will want to watch how this is played. The French are going to do the same. Like, there's going to be a lot of analyzing of this, this game itself um, after this game. Yeah. And so I think this is, this is, this is a huge matchup um, for a knockout. Um, right I, now, I think any game that's currently going on with the top 32, there's yeah. big names in there still. Yeah. And any game loss here is going to yeah. be huge. And oh. so, and so, I was talking this morning too with he oh, with uh, the head HQ up there, and they were, we were talking about you know where do people fall with where their rankings are right now, right? So you have we had eight four and O's who who played all the way through. Yep. Then there were 16 draws. Yeah. And then a couple three and ones, right? So what we've realized is the people who played out their game yesterday went 4-0 are ahead. basically playing a top eight. Like, yeah. because two of those eight are going to make it through. Yes. So instead of playing against 32, you're only playing against the top eight to make it through. The, the ability to have an intentional draw is really messed up right. the today's day, day. Right. Well, and then I also talked to Marcus here. Marcus said, I can essentially win my first two games today mm -hmm. and then draw my third and still make it in. Yes, he can. Yeah. So, because he would have such a high SOS with doing it, he could all they've done is so the people who intentionally drawed yesterday have basically just guaranteed getting day two today. But then they have to win all three. Yes. Where, for instance, with uh, Marcus, he can uh, he's got a, he can win two yeah. and then intentionally draw his vote. So yep. you're just pushing that draw down the line. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the later you can you can delay a draw from happening, the better off you are with your with yeah. your final result. But um, in return, I mean, it probably doesn't make any difference. Obviously, all the four and O's will play each other. Yes. So that probably makes it slightly worse because you pl you're playing against someone who did win their game. Right. Where all the three zero ones, the ones who took the draws, are all playing each other. Yes. So in a weird way, they've kind of deliberately influenced who they're playing. Yeah. Um, and then obviously all the three and ones are playing each other as well. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and even then, the, th the three O and ones, the ones who drew, mm -hmm. um, they could potentially be hurting themselves as well because, like, you could still win all three today yep. and then be at the lowest point of the SOS and still not make it in. Yes, so, there's a very slim chance of that happening. Yep, yep. So, like, other matchups going on right now for you guys. Um, I'm, bring, uh, what's the, I'm trying to bring it up. What's it? It's not on Game Uplink to find. It, it is. It's it's a past event now oh, because oh, it was, okay. yeah. It started yesterday. Yep. Um, but we have uh, Matt Bronson uh, against Trent Hale from 317th Legion. Those guys are both 4-0 playing against each other. Uh, other four knows uh, Jesse uh, Gilbert of the Orange Guard playing Michael Berry dashes. Um, uh, we have uh, Marius um, against uh, Jeff Podfrey from the UK. Yeah, so Marius is, yeah. So he's playing there. Um, John Dunn is playing Luke Cook. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I think, yeah. I mean, not only is Luke obviously a great player. Um, I think uh, John beat me yesterday on Thursday in the Swiss. And I'm, yeah. I'm playing, I was playing experimental droids, and yeah. Luke's playing experimental droids. Um, John's playing Anakin, uh, Padme, like yeah. the usual yeah. current meta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a couple of the three, three oh and one matchups, the draws you have Timothy Keel versus Brian Bear, Oscar versus Philip Hawk, um, Mike Knack versus Raul Rosado, Dustin Rude from 5280 playing against uh, Octobear. That's going to be a matchup too. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's, that's, a, that's a solid game to play. Um, Apparently, uh, John uh, Bushman said, don't put uh, Brian on the stream. He wants to stream tomorrow in the top four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, also, Podfrey has said the same. He said, I don't want to be on stream. So if you, what if you get the final, he went, well, tough. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, he said yesterday, it kind of knocks his comp, uh, like the extra pressure of being oh. on the stream. And then Ollie is playing Corey Satili of Inglorious Blasters. Corey's a good player. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's, that's going to be a good matchup. All, all, good the, all these are really good. They're, yep. they're all top 32 players in the world. Yep. Yep, that's exactly it. Oh. All right, guys. So we just have some uh, just deployment going down here. Um, 
Guys are playing advanced. It looks like they're just they're picking that that closer edge to each other, um, and uh, utilizing that that scout one. Um, Marcus has got uh, they've got the range ruler out there to see exactly where range three is at um, from everything. I believe Marcus has range four shots, um, but it's hard because he's throwing three dice into uh, essentially cover three. Um, so that's going to be hard for him to yeah. to get anything through. It's just you're looking for crits. Crits, yep, yep. Um, and the problem with it is, well, it will put some, some pressure out, um, but then you're just going to compel with C3PO. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. But I think then extra wounds early, if he does get the odd crit here and there, will help. Um, yeah. Because... Once their mini walks get in, he needs to be able to do a lot to them. And Maul's not going to do a lot here. No, no, he's Maul's. Maul's only. I don't know how Marcus will play this, but for me, Maul just goes after key characters because you're going to be wasted on on a horde of of. Ewoks, because you're not going to swing enough to wipe a unit. You can't kill him. Yeah. You're going to be stuck there at least two, if not three turns, you know, with one unit. So, like, I would try and target your Han Solo, your Law Gray, um, your Chewbacca, like, target those yeah. and try and get those guys out. So then all you're dealing with is is Horde from the rest of them, right? I um, think if um, Maul can get to um, Han, to shut down things like Reckless Diversion into melee. He can, it's still going to take two swings on average, I think, Yeah. Um, to uh, kill him, but at least it, it'll shut down that pierce. But then I also think Han's not going to be very effective here um, due to all the dodges the pike's going to be loaded up with. Yep, yep. So it'll be interesting to see how, the, how it works. But I'm sure Anton knows what he's doing. Oh, yeah. Also, great to have two more different countries on stream today. France and Germany. Yeah. Haven't had them on yet, so, so this many, is awesome. How many countries are we up to? We've had USA, Poland. Bolivia. Bolivia. We yeah. had Germany on first game yesterday, actually. Patrick. Ah, oh, Patrick was on. Yeah. Yes. We went to um, so, US, Poland, Bolivia, Germany, UK. France. 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 Australia. Australia. That's good. So seven. Seven countries out of five games? Yeah. That's that's good. Yeah. And I think that's, honestly, I think Switzerland and Argentina are the only two that we would be missing. But I don't know. I don't think any Argentinians made it no, into today. No. Um, the Swiss, the, the, so. Yeah, I think today we have mostly U.S., U.K., Germany, France, Poland. Two Swiss. And two Swiss. How did... Well, did you have any countries on during the last chance qualify, or were they mainly all Americans? Same, same. LCQ, nations. yeah, yeah, yeah. Poland, US. Yeah, with Mateo was coming over, it's like specific. Oh yeah, of course. Over, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Made yeah. four, four and zero, didn't he, on the yeah. LCQ? Yeah. And then if you divide it by state for the US, you had Colorado, <laughs> New York, um, New York. Um, Oklahoma. Uh, Bit of everywhere there. <laughs> Yeah, Brian, uh, Brian Cook, Trauma Dog. So I yep. played yesterday a uh, 14-year-old kid. So I found what? someone younger than your little 16-year-old prodigy that you Wait, put on stream. Who, who, what was his name? Um, he's from Florida. No, uh, LA, uh, LA, I think he's from. Does he have long hair? Yeah, yeah. That, and, um, Kenji. Yes, Kenji. That's yeah. the one who beat Dustin at LVO Ooh. this past year. And oh, really? Dustin, I went to Dustin. I was like, how was your game? And he goes, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? He goes, that kid just schooled me. Yeah. I'll say, <laughs> he's, Kenji's a prodigy. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. He's, I speak yeah. speaking to him and his dad. And yeah. I said to him at one point, um, uh, like, I said to his dad, he's like, oh, how's it, how, how did he do? And I said, he yeah. played a flawless game. Yeah. Um, I said, like, I don't think he actually made any mistakes. It, the problem was he was playing hostage. So he, he knew from the get-go, he was like, I'm playing for a draw. You're playing for a win. Yeah. Um, See, right there, the kid knows what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. He literally pulled back his hostage. He then... Uh, and he was like always making the right choices, like moving it first, even though it, it meant he yeah. then could have shot and got gone up and kill points. But yep. if he did that, his hostage would have then got shot. So he was like, well, I'll just move mine because then I'll back off as well. Right. So that we're both just hiding the units that are vulnerable. Yeah. Um, and basically, I spent six turns chasing down 
his hostage carrier, which I got down to just the, the, the one guy left. Wow. Uh, I got a few shots on Boyle, got it down to just a, one wound on Boyle. Uh, and it, it basically took me six turns just to kill one of them two guys. Wow. And that's all I was chasing. I, got, I killed some pikes as well. Um, and again, as soon as he took a uh, loss on one or two models, he went and hit them. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, yep, we're not playing this game. No, thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I would not be surprised if uh, in the next year or so, Kenji's going to be winning some major tournaments. I would um, not be surprised. In the US. I think um, it's absolutely amazing that a 14-year-old kid's won a store championship, yep. come to us. He won his first game as well. He's better than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's... The other thing, too, is his dad says, like, he... He, he sleeps and breathes Legion right now. Like yeah. that's all. He, and he goes, and his dad joked with that. I remember him joking with me at LVO, and he said, "You know, it's nice when you don't have to like worry about a job, or you just go to school. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, well, it's free time to just invest into something like this." And I'm like, "No, you're absolutely right." And this is how this kid is going to wind up being one of the top players yep. in Legion, you know, for years to but come because he's he's got this base investment that he can just build on for the, the rest, no matter is, what else comes. He doesn't listen to uh, my podcast. Oh, so I said, it was like oh, I listen to podcasts. I was like, now mm. the important question is, do you listen to to our podcast? Yeah, of course. Um, and he was just like, uh, no. <laughs> he, went, he went like a real bit sheepish. I was like, it's fine, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just and make sure you do now. And then you went right. I'm gonna beat you now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, on that note, uh, obviously, shout out, shout out time. Uh, if you are listening and you're if you're watching, I should say, and you're watching on the That's No Moon YouTube channel, please like and subscribe. But if you're also if you're not following, subscribe to Yavin Base, hop over there, give them a like and subscribe, do the old bell thing as well. And then, obviously, if you're watching on Yavin Base, yep. pop over to that at TNM Pods. Yes. And uh, do the same, share the love for the community. This is a pure collaborative col- uh, project. Obviously, we miss David. I would yes. like to have met David personally, but that would be lovely. Um, but it's been awesome to see yourself with those Leggings. I was. A <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I, got an, I forgot about these from last year. You had similar like last year. Uh-uh, no. not, not this. Did you wore something like that. Like, well, last year, I just wear like shorts. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Cast on. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was hobbling around with a boot last year. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, yeah. So uh, obviously, it's great to work with you guys. Obviously, we didn't. We only met like on Thursday. This is like. Yeah. Hey man. Yeah. Um, John obviously has earned himself. A day of fun. Yeah. He has worked his behind off. Yeah, he's uh, put in a lot of work for this. Yeah, so um, loads of really cool stuff he's done. Um, so he's on himself. That's why you're here. You chill out. Yeah. He's off to play other things because he wants to. Yeah, it's absolutely why not? fine. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, enjoy the game. Interact the chat, which is what we have going on here. So, hello, chat. Let's see who, who's been saying hello and what. Let's get some comments. So... Uh, uh, Patricio Riquelme is from Chile. Oh, so there you go. Fantastic. So that's another nation that we well, would like to get there. Yeah. Uh, I got a tattoo from a guy from Chile. Yep. Six Germans are on. Uh, they're new, yeah. Is that Star Wars? Diffs, no, Diffs, no. Diffs, is, Diffs has chuck, chucked shade at the Germans. Germans are near enough Brits is what he says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know. Um, can we have a chart with, re- with represented countries? That will be something that we will do after the tournament, uh, and it will come up. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Uh, what else we've got here? International, intention, uh, Colin Keeley, intentional draws being in the format is beyond silly, uh, but given they are, you shouldn't fault players for taking them, and you're at. Here we go. Completely. Here we go. Turn so one starting. Turn one. Here we go. Anticipation is real. All right, log traps and uh, sees what power you can. Isn't yep. It? Oh no, it's em- eminence. Your eminence. Yeah, yeah. his eminence. Eminence. Yeah. Uh, or cn eminence. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's that's, that's, that's German. German, that's German. Oh, sorry. Well, <laughs> eminence. Yeah. Cn <laughs> eminence. Uh, so yeah, lots of there's. No. So we have so, right. hello chat. Right. So. Uh, Two Brits and an Aussie watching from Brum. Hello, Miss Fortune. Uh, the, the, that would be Mrs. Mrs. Terrell. The, pa- the real power behind uh, the Terrell throne. Um, <laughs> the uh, teddy bears rushing, coming, go, Antoine. There's some friends uh, from uh, Les Glones. 
I assume you are French, my friend. Um, <laughs> this matchup sounds really rough for the Shadow Collective. Yes. I think, with, with respect to Marcus, I think this matchup would be rough on anyone because Antoine has made this list. Antoine's made this list the threat that it is. So, right, I think we're going to need to do some English to English, some card, card translation. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's after all. Oh, I'm not a judge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just instinct there, you know. <laughs> yep. Yep. Someone asks you a question, you're like, oh, yeah, this is what it is. I'm just, I'm just used to it. Like. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can pull up. So players having a discussion here about how uh, when log traps goes off. Uh, I'm just asking... Um, if it goes off before, so I think from uh, my TO and expertise that the log traps goes after orders have given. So yeah. It, excuse me. Everyone issues out orders. You uh, obviously when um, independent will trigger um, at the end of the order phase. Yes. Uh, and then log traps triggers at the, uh, the start of the activation phase. So it's li they're literally next to each other, but the independent should trigger first. Right. Um, and it's before anything else. So. Are we on for a good one there? With the a good one? Uh, as in, is everything accepted there? Well, I, I think they're just double checking. Wonderful. I thought that was going to be a command card translation thing going on. No. <laughs> Here's the timing on log traps. Ah, uh, oh, so now I think this is actually a really clever play for Marcus for this. Um, and I only just realised what he's done. Tell um, me what. Tell me what your eminence does. Uh, so his, his eminence, if I remember right, is uh, all units within range one of uh, Maul uh, receive one suppression, um, and they cannot be panicked uh, during their activation. Yeah. Um, so they can still be panicked, but just not during their activation. Now the reason why he's done this is to counter log traps, because. By putting suppression on the pikes, he's triggering the danger sense. Yep. So Excellent. any of the do uh, any of the logs that do get through and deal damage, Excellent. he's got the extra defensive dice, um, and he's not giving up um, the independent on the pikes either. So it's, a, it's actually quite a smart play just to give you that boost. And I imagine maybe Marcus has been doing this um, as his opening play in his other games to give him that extra defensive tech on top of the dodges already. Yeah, because if it's if, if you are expecting a, an alpha strike. Then, you put that, then you've got that extra... Yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a, a very interesting, smart, like, play. Um, I, I would never have thought about doing that as, a, as an opening play. Um, we, we had a... a we, were, we were told about a smart play yesterday. And was it Dustin? Uh, in the 20-minute game of Game 1 yesterday, he played pin down. Shot... Uh, Ooh, and five hits. So his opponent... Uh, wow, this is the log trap, right? Yeah, and as uh, Killy wow. just put in the chat, um, the suppression also gives cover because it doesn't have blast. So not only is he um, giving himself cover that he might not have had from the log trap shot, yeah, um, he's then got a dodge to spend on top. And that and that's just a crazy good like top tier play of knowing what your opponent's probably going to play against you exactly. and saying, okay, he's probably going to log trap me first. I'm going to try and counter this as best I can. Yeah. I know it's coming. Yep. It's the best. And it's similar, like, if you're playing against Yoda, you know the three pip, two pip, three pip combo. Yep. So how do you play into that? Yep. X-Wing, shush. Apologies, guys. The X-Wing <laughs> guys just, just realized that our game is better, so they're applauding us. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag I, I found out an interesting fact uh, yesterday for Legion here at Adepticon. Mm. We've got more players than 40k. What? What? So the 40k tournament that's here at Adepticon is 256 players. They capped it at 256. So technically, Legion. Boom. Wow. That, that's a mic drop, man. <laughs> at Adepticon, this side of the world's largest tabletop wargaming convention yep. has more Legion players yep. than 40k players. That's yep. massive. That is huge. Now, I think there's probably lots of other 40k events. Right, right, right. Side events. Yeah. Yes, yeah. of course. But yeah, in a main yeah. event, yep. their main event, we had 272 yeah. and they had 256. Because they, they, theirs was capped. Wow. <laughs> and now I'm sure if they didn't cap, they would so, blow yeah. it out. Yeah. But, but still, that's still that's, huge. Yeah, that's massive. That's huge. And Legion is only in its fifth year, 40k is in its 30th year or something. But, yeah. That's impressive. Uh, Ragnar, the uh, that middle 
Um, here, let's actually get you guys a different um, angle camera view here. Um, worth remembering, Log Traps has Pierce. It does have Pierce, Just, but uh, yeah. there was three blanks there. So <laughs> white dice being white dice, yo. Well, that would help. So here he goes. You guys can see there. The middle actually does have a pretty decent line of sight blocker. That wall is big enough to uh, hide quite a bit of things behind. Um, so. I just did what you did. <laughs> oh, you good. Just hit the right there. Andy, yeah. Andy's learning how to work cameras. Yeah, yeah Andy, Andy's running our, uh, our, our camera views today and our, our round counters and all that stuff. So, so it's all his fault. Yeah, yeah. So just blame Andy <laughs> if something doesn't work. <laughs> so you can see Marcus is setting himself up for an at-range three shot. It looks like, well, I say at-range three, or at least preparing for an at-range something. So I think... Um, when we were setting up uh, today's uh, terrain, the yep. obviously for Ragnar said there's not much line of sight blocker. That big pillar is um, a line of sight blocker and would be key positions. Obviously, it's off center slightly for intercept, recover, and hostage. Um, but when we were talking about setting up today's table, the the last two days worth of tables, the KP point has been like an open box, an open area. Yeah, something yeah. you can't hide behind. So. Yeah, it's been a shooting gallery, and, and players have had to kind of circle around each other if they were going to play that middle objective. Exactly. So today we wanted to say, hey, here's something for you to hide behind if you want to play this. Yeah. And be so I can go and double move and hide behind that big circle pillar. Oh, that's a good shot there. Uh, really good shot, actually. Yeah, yeah. Evan Paul, uh, you you remember Evan Paul? Message, uh, he loves winding us up. <laughs> we remain in debt to Lafayette for helping free us from the tyranny of the that's no moon types. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm rooting for Antoine. What he what he fails to mention is if it wasn't for us that no moon types, you'd be speaking French before because of the stuff beforehand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you're welcome, O. Um, <laughs> it's got to bring up the history. Oh yeah. History, the history, the history comes out. It's so when, when we had. Um, so was that shot? So obviously that was a pike shot there into uh, an Ewok squad. Correct. I'm assuming they were. Was that a range three? So. Yeah. Um, but that was five hits. So it must have been an open shot that you got onto the Ewoks. Yeah, because they weren't suppressed yet. So unless he had heavy cover, which is highly possible. Let's see from the other angle here. We could probably see. We, you know, you talk about the, the player count just a minute ago. We should also not fail to forget the 60 odd that played the LCQ. So not only we have the 270, yeah, actual world players, and you have the 66 because I know, sorry, the 56 extra who played the LCQ. So in theory, you're playing 330, 336 players total have played Legion over yeah. the course of Thursday to this weekend. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's, it's a lot of people here. That's a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, X Wings, good big shout out as well. There's 250 odd players on them as yep. well. Shout out. Hey, that's, that's decent. No, it yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, for, for context, so those of you who've never been to Adepticon, you will not be able to grab the scale of this thing until you see it. And I I didn't until I was wandering around and went, okay, there's something here. Uh, okay, more, uh, uh, more, uh, uh, more, uh, uh, more. Uh, Have more. you been upstairs yet? Well, there we go. Look. Oh yeah. no, I set tables upstairs, uh, but not in the not in the halls. Yeah, there's I was a, setting stuff up there. There's more conventional halls. Oh yeah, you're helping yeah, service yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, and then, have you been to the other hotel? No, I know I haven't. <laughs> so. So the other hotel has. No need to. Armada, a song of ice and fire, bolt action. Um, I can't believe you're here and not the song of ice and fire stuff. <laughs> there's a tournament tomorrow for me to right. go to. Well, there you go. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, loads. Uh, yeah, the, the, and then next to us on our left, we have the vendor hall, which. I'll have a wander around at some point, uh, but I will do a. Well, if you actually, if you nip onto the That's No Moon Instagram page, um, that's at That's No Moon Podcast. I did a behind the scenes look. So yeah. So it looks like now that that uh, unit of pikes uh, came forward and shot, uh, uh, yes. there's a lot of measuring going on here um, between the Ewoks and the uh, um, pikes. Is that? I believe that's that's just a skirmisher. What Unit load. that he has it butted up against. Is that what it looks Wicket? Like. No, uh, Wicket has the uh, spear rays. Wicket. So here, get yeah. into these. Get into these Ewoks for you guys. I mean, they are so some Wicket. Paint jobs. Wicket is right there up front. You can see him on the front of that pad. Yeah. Um, then you have obviously you can see Han pretty like, easily. Yeah. Um, let's see. Where is Logre? So is that is that just a unit lead? Uh, all the unit yeah. So that's just a, yeah, yeah yeah. All the unit leaders are on the stumps. So that looks like it's just a skirmisher. 
um, that's on the stump. You can see yeah. Chewie and C-3PO um, back there in the back. Um, I'm looking for Law Gray. This is like, uh, it's like where's Waldo? Like, where's <laughs> locate locate Law Gray is what we're what we're playing here, folks. Um, um, he might be on the other side of this building. No, because he needs line of sight to give out aid. I've uh, got another pike shot there to crit, so that's pretty good because that gets through the cover. Lots of surges, which are useless. Yeah, and that's what that's what Marcus's game is going to be here. Is oh, see, so Mark Marcus was grabbing his dice, and that's why I rolled that, and so he just stopped his hand because it, the dice bounced off his hand, so he just kept his hand there to not interfere anymore. Yeah, and that's, that's that's that good. was a good thing to do. So I, I think we just had one Ewok ah. squad is now gone. So what he did was I think he guardian one, to, and then so yeah, yeah, just Chewie's got a wound there. So I believe we already have one Ewok squad down. Is that correct? Because we had a five shot earlier, and then that was... That was a stump. So I yeah, so. yeah, he took a stump off. So One down, 13 to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my word. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why he, if it was, uh, he, he did that then. If he knew the unit was going to die, why take the wound on Chewie and just let it die? Or maybe he, maybe because he was hoping he could save out because out of three maybe you're hoping you get what, what, one six, one and you keep a guy yeah well I mean those dice yesterday were but those you, white defense dice were rolling should we have protector do we um in his list I don't think he does I think it's just chewy Ragnar's videos taking Rex Chewy Padme to a store tournament today so I won't steal the matches I hope the stream goes smooth thank you very much good luck to your, in your game as well oh actually so the unit leaders are the ones that are blowing horns I don't think that's a dead activation wait what, what was it so apparently the unit leaders are the ones blowing horns oh so if you zoom in again okay Do they have the same colored hoods? Yeah, so the hoods are also all painted. Yeah. Zimatic says... So he's still got black rimmed oh, models yeah. there? Yeah, he's got black ones down here, though, too. Uh, but they've got red hoods. Let's see... How many are what, in the tray? Well, what color... Yeah, I was going to say, what color were the... Uh, I'll go take a look for you guys. Yeah. Zimatic says, uh, once Antoine takes the positions in turn two, it's game over. Um, I don't think it's game I, over. I, sorry? I don't think it's game over. I don't think it's ever game over while you have activations because dice can still do things unexpected. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I, I, I get why you say that, but at the same time, you, it's, it casts a lot of uh, doubt on a very, 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 very good player in, in Marcus Rucker. So I think just uh, enjoy the stream, Zimatic. Enjoy the stream. Okay, so uh, two died from the first shot from yep. one squad. Yep. The, uh, the pink... Yep. Kind of pinkish. That was here. the first. Uh, he had an open shot into those guys. They were both open yep. shots, he said. Um, then the other was four um, from the orange hooded squad. Okay, these ones here. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So. But okay. Both so of so those. So we haven't, we haven't lost a, a not, squad. Not lost a unit now. But six dead Ewoks. Yep. Only Which, 78 wounds to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, still, still a tall order Just put here. Put a, a wound counter on the top of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a countdown timer for like the doomsday, but it's like countdown until yeah. like, he walks get in your face. Like yeah. how many wounds you have left to go through? You do that with pike dodges. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have a pike dodge versus uh, versus fur <laughs> counter. Yeah. <laughs> but I think if you switch the other uh, yeah. camera at the other end. <laughs> Just getting some Bodnar love over here. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Bodnar. <laughs> so you can see that he's already <laughs> securing and you, um, this intercept point here. Yes. Yep. So, and I don't think uh, Marcus is ever going to try and contest that. No, I don't think so either. So you've now got 13 activations <laughs> to split across them other two, and you can see already he's trying to uh, contest. What would be classed as his safe one normally? Yeah. Um, the one in this camera at the far end. Yeah, furthest away from the camera. And he's not even looking at the middle, I don't think. He can I go for it, but Marcus yeah. is all set up for that middle one. And I think if. if yeah, uh, I, I think I think what may happen here because Antoine's going to have really good cover going to the edges 
the edge intercepts, yeah. right? The middle is going to be open for him, so he's going to lose his low profile trying to get out so there. Just ignore so that. I think he's just going to come flood this closest point that you guys can see and that furthest point because he's got better cover to yeah. move behind getting over that way. He's going on the two, yep. the two flanks. And we've also located Logre. He is on the left of your screen hey. hiding, behind, hiding by that door. He's right <laughs> by the where it says turn one on your view. Uh, oh, we will come up. over. He's right there next to turn one. So that, that's where our other uh, commander is. So. Ah, there we go. Found Waldo. Yeah. <laughs> Located log <Logray. laughs> Waldo? What British what? guy does it? What British guy says Waldo. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> where is Wally? Do you know what we do have today? It's the top 32. So yes. we actually have capabilities and we want to do a giveaway. Yeah. So don't, don't, uh, don't. There's no exclamation raffle. That's yeah. not a thing. We don't. We're not doing that. That's Dave controls all that magically. We have no idea how that works. Um, <laughs> um, so we will do it randomly, a random draw. Yeah. Uh, what we have is for the first prize, and we so we'll have one, two, three prizes. Uh, the first prize is an Adepticon branded um, small cutting mat with, sure. measure, with measurements. I will zoom out and I will show it on camera briefly so you guys can see what we're going to have here. We want to have you guys type Adepticon. Adepticon. Which is A-D-E-P-T-I-C-O-N. Type uh, that into the chat um, for this giveaway. Just type Adepticon. We will choose at random and I will show you guys what this looks like. And you have until uh, half past nine. Nine, nine o'clock now. So you have half an hour to do that. So Adepticon is the... Uh, there you go. That's the, that's the giveaway prize. It's nice quality. Uh, it's, it's really cool. Um, so that was generously given to us by Hank. Popped over today. And was like, hey, I've got some stuff. So Adepticon swag. Enjoy going through this. Yep. I, oh, <laughs> <laughs> shades of Spain. Shades of Spain. World team. World WCT yeah. in Spain. So it's all good. Um, what will happen as well is obviously if you are in the US, Zane will sort yes. the postage. And if you're in Europe, Andy and I will sort the postage. It's me. Yeah, uh, Andy. <laughs> it's, 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 it's me. I'm not, I ain't doing it. Don't, there's no wow. cockles. That's me. No, Andy's doing it. He has access to postage. <laughs> <laughs> Says the man in Cambridge doesn't have postage. No, Haverhill's different. Oh, Haverhill. All right, yeah. so a lot of measuring. Is he measuring to? Is he measuring to Han here? It could be. I, I mean, he's got range. They were throwing it out. He definitely has range range three to anything on that platform from so where he's moving his pikes. This is probably an interesting one. So where's C-3PO again? Let's 3PO is right on this corner right over here. Uh, flip it around just to work yep. out something. So I think. So you can see oh, no, 3PO. Miles, uh, maybe not. So the reason why I ask, obviously, with C-3PO, any units that are wholly within range one yes. uh, get the uh, Guardian ability to yep. uh, protect C-3PO. Um, but the second part of that sentence says, you, them units also gain uh, protector, essentially. They can Guardian crit. Right, right. Now, Han has a steamed leader. So, obviously, there's six core <laughs> he walks here, so that's yeah. Guardian six. But the yeah. ones that are wholly within range one of C-3PO and Guardian crits as well. Uh, so if he yeah. does choose to shoot Han, you've got two hits for um, cover going. Does Han have low profile? I believe he, he does. He does. So it's free. Yeah, for Han, Han doesn't have low profile. No, is it, I don't no. think he does. I thought he Jin, did. Jin does. Uh, Jin, yeah, I don't think Han does. Yeah. He hasn't. So I think it's two. I think it's just. I don't think he does have low profile. I don't play Rebels. Um, but yeah, he's got. Low two. profile. He does. Oh. Oh. So, all right. all right, so he's blocking three for cover, and then you've got Guardian six. So that's now I'm blocking nine dice <laughs> before you make me roll a save. And unfortunately, Jeez. Shadow Collective don't roll nine attack dice. Yeah. Wow. Because you're rolling seven, five, six, seven. is that right? That's wild. Eight, you roll eight attack dice. So you don't even try. Nope. Because nope. it can all just be... And the, the units of Ewoks that are in range one can take the crits out. All the other normal Ewoks take the hits away. Can you, can you just imagine, like, Han's just, like, running through the forest, and he's getting shot, and he's just grabbing Ewoks and throwing <laughs> them in front of him as blaster <laughs> so fires coming just in? Like, like this, like, come at me. Yeah. Arms are wide. Yeah. Like, no. It's one of those, like, slow-mo screenshots where he's just, like, running slowly and, like, grabbing a, a, an Ewok by the scruff of his neck and just <laughs> holding it in front of him, just bah, blaster shot in front of him and then dropping him and grabbing another one. Is and this the 18th yeah. version of Star Wars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Friday Night at Freddy's. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, just, just, bah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, I'm going to imagine uh, range is hands probably just at range of them back uh, black and purple based Ewoks of range one. Yeah. So they'll be able to guard in the crits. All of these, the swarm <laughs> yeah. around that landing platform are going to be guarding in any hits. Yeah. That one looks chill though. He's, he's just having a casual. The, the hand so card. It, so there we go. So, so Antoine moving for that far objective again. Yep. Um, Checking for a I, I think he's gonna. I, I think Ooh. he may very well just fully ignore that middle point. Yeah. And go for the edges. The hand card for your reference is Gunslinger. No. Two red dice pierce two. So yeah. basically, you're pretty much doing minimum three every time if you dice to normal. Because mm. he surges crit. He has sharpshooter one. Steady uncanny luck three and low profile. So uh, we, it's gonna be interesting because I don't yeah. see hand doing a lot in this game. It's probably for his command cards. Oh, his command cards are going to be amazing. It's just like, no, yeah. you're not having that one, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Change yeah. Jeez, yeah. Yeah, Marcus Marcus has got a very, very tall order here. Um, no, I, I know he's quite a tall person. Well, hey! <laughs> <laughs> My literature is like, oh, hang on, how can I get that gag in? Uh, so <laughs> in, uh, in in Texas, we'd say he's a he's a tall glass of water. I mean, <laughs> he, meaning he's a tall, handsome man. He's a tall glass of water. Yeah, he's a tall glass of water. <laughs> that is not a very Texas phrase in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd say so, like, say you'd be at a at a bar, right, and a cowboy comes in. He's he's just he doesn't even have to be tall, but he could just be a, just a tall handsome. glass of water. Yeah, just be like, be like, well, that's a tall glass of water right there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Would you say he's a lanky? He's a lanky one of me. Who? Lanky, lanky. Oh, right, yeah, like that's a, what we'd say. Yeah, yeah back home. Yeah, yeah. He's a lanky one. Oh, yeah. That's what they're um, long shanks. <laughs> <laughs> so looking to measure uh, range two from Maul is what Antoine is looking at here. Maul has range two to get on the other side of that wall. I th uh, okay, I think he's... Because he's what two speed twos will get you there. Yeah, yeah. It's so just that, short. Yeah, so that's so, so I think he's doing that. Yesterday, remember John Bushman educated us on this. If you're looking to mark, you know where your unit would move in two speed two moves, mm -hmm. they're out of a range two, and you're like he said it's like millimeters off. Like yeah. it's not that far, but it gives you an idea of where you're going. It's, I think it's like uh, 5.8 inches. Right. Is, um, the move speed yeah um, and obviously a range stick is six inches so like moving twice literally talking as you say like a few millimeters out. yeah so as you can see there's Antoine sh shows where Maul can get to so now we see that he can get on the other side of that wall really easily um, measuring um, two speed twos from his Ewoks to see how close he can get to this far um, bat, or, uh, intercept down here I think the other thing here is obviously we, when we were talking about when we made the decision for the table um Maul can sit and hide the other side of that uh, middle intercept point. Yeah. Um, and obviously influence force push, pushing the unit out of contesting it. So is um, Anton here just completely deciding to ignore that and go for the other points as well? Because then Maul's not got that protective cover to hide behind yeah. and do force powers and things like that. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm sure Marcus measured out where Maul can get to, being where he is, correct? Um, but I would also think Marcus would not just jump Maul out there, especially if he oh, see, no. especially as he's seeing Antoine starting to divide and go on each side. He's gonna have to pick which side he wants Maul to go to. Yeah. Um, and then so. I think the Ewoks just double back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A few comments from straight from chat. So we've had quite a few. Um, Nicholas Dixon. Uh, <laughs> this might be love. I am in the midst of potty training my my wee lad. Uh, during this giveaway. Hopefully I don't miss the draw. You won't, my friend, you won't. Nope. I will make sure. If I we, mean, We'll make more announcements before we do the oh, draw. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the, the draw will take place uh, at half past the hour, half past nine here, uh, and yeah, we'll tell you how, how and one little thing uh, you win. And uh, I will say good luck with the potty training. Something I'm having fun with, Hallie, at the moment as well. So that's I a fun experience. Do not miss them years. Yeah, you've got that a long time ago. <laughs> you had to quite train Ollie and Dolly. <laughs> context, Ollie had... Uh, one of them has learned, the other one is still learning. I was going to yeah. say, <laughs> context, Andy has a son called Ollie. So if we refer to Ollie, his son, there's your... They are spelled different. They are different. Um, many people on record are saying they hate fur. One particular individual said, I hate Wookiees, I hate Ewoks, I hate Steve. <laughs> so I'm um, just put that there. Uh... Uh, Le, Le, Le Clones, I love the Kashyyyk Battle Force. I'm hooked on the Wookiees now. Uh, if you get a chance to watch back yesterday, we had the Wookiee Battle Force 
uh, yesterday, yep. the final game from uh, Mokrozny from Poland, who made the top 32 despite the loss. Yeah. Oh, nice. uh, and uh, who, el who else? Ah, uh, we had um, Tim McKnight with the so ATSC variant. Like, so players here uh, checking uh, range. Antoine just tilting that building on its corner so it doesn't he doesn't pick it up fully. Just tilting it and then tilting it right back. That's a good play, player action there with yeah. the tilting the building. Smart move. Yeah. So good ways to do that. Tilt the building like he just did. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to completely remove the building, mark it with your uh, deployment tools. markers yeah. uh, or your movement yeah, yeah. tools, yeah. either one. Uh, mark that, pick it up, look at it, and then you have your exact uh, spot where it comes back down at. Yeah. So. This might not have out of activations. <laughs> it can, I think well, he, uh, he's got a commander there. Okay, just, yeah, because he's got Maul and he's got those pikes, the pikes yeah. in the back. Okay. So I think I think he's just passed. Yeah. So he's, he obviously. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think he, I think you passed as well. Yep. I mean, he's got plenty of opportunities to pass. Right. Because I was like I was like wait, Antoine just went and he's going again. I was like ah, Marcus yeah. must have passed. He said no, I want to see where you're going with these units before I start yeah. committing my commander. Or at least one of them anyway. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean that's that's a huge thing, right? Because mm -hmm. in passing, I, and I like this passing tool. So yeah. like five. And using this right now, like he can pass to see. Where is he going to commit most of his forces? Where where are because he's got an even split fourteen fourteen right? So yeah. you can go seven seven on each side and do that. Now, mind you, some of those are just single units in commanders. Yep. But if he decides to lean heavier one way or the other, then Maul can right the can go. I'm going to go for the fewer count on this side yeah. versus the higher count on the other side, and try and work on this more than Did chewing you, into more numbers that I can't do anything about. Yeah, so. it's all interesting um, to see how he, how Maul's actually going to influence this. Yeah. Um, he's got a lot of weight to pull, but it is five uncontested activations. Yes, yeah. That's that you're just watching your opponent play. So you, so I, Marcus is going to use that pass, I guarantee you, every single round oh, that, to see exactly what's going on. Most of the time, I think it will be um, with Maul. Yeah, yeah, like, like it's going to be his last else, yep, pass and, yep, Maul. Yep. Uh, I also think normally with Maul, because you've got Cunning, you want to go first. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm going to imagine here that you probably want to deliberately lose priority to give you another activation yes. yep. so that to, you've got one less. Yeah, to, to help that disparity. Yeah, even more. more. Yeah. So, oh, wow, look at this. So, Antoine measuring with this purple squad on the edge of the wall here. Oh, that's on the middle now. He's throwing us all off. He is going for the middle. Well, he's on the middle, <laughs> but he's also measuring to potentially leave the middle because he, he just measured out there you see here uh, that's, a, that's a charge he's measuring there isn't I, think it? He's, I think he's measuring a charge so that's wicked oh yeah because he's got that is wicked which, yep he's got a little sort of, uh, relentless doesn't he he's a whip he's a little sling <laughs> we have a new stream judge we are joined by Mr. Table himself. Oh, Mr. Table. Mr. Love Table. It. Yeah. Actually, that's actually a lovely term for this man. Yeah. I, 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 so I, I called him that in the uh, pre pre world interview. I said, ah, it's well, I'm going to say Mr. Table has gone that. So that's how I work. Mr. That's the, actually the latest addition to the Mr. Men. Highly appropriate. Mr. Table. <laughs> Mr. Table. <laughs> Mr. Table himself, Nick Bodnar, is yeah. now our stream judge. He's now our stream judge for a bit. Yeah. Uh, I think, is this one of his tables? Uh, no, no, no. This, no, this is, is this Adepticon. Is, this is Yeah. yeah. Yeah, with the the trees from yesterday for the uh, uh, the Kashyyyk or Endor um, was uh, yeah Nick Nick Nick's. Park does as part of the community yeah yeah yeah, yeah. everything here is community sourced it's uh, it's brought in by various um, acts which actually going into that we'd like to thank everybody who made Adepticon 100%. Star Wars Legion possible um, all the terrain that was sourced I know um, I want to say I heard. Um, Hank, who runs, who's like the big guy here for all of this, yeah. um, so they had three semi trucks of, yeah. of terrain and stuff that they brought in, not for Legion, but for <laughs> everything. Yeah. Semi, trucks. Yeah, semi trucks, yes. Blimey. I think you said 40 foot trailers um, of semi trucks <laughs> completely packed in. So, so a huge event to get this going on. But huge thank you. Oh, hold on, we got a shot Oof. coming through here. That's a Pike shot. That's a good shot. Two, four, six, seven. And look at that uh, red. Yes, yeah, seven. Seven into oh into wicket, so he's going to dodge. Uh, no, so three for low profile, dodge yep. two. That's five gone, and then what's the rest of it? Because he had three do do dodges on him. Oh, and there's the saves, and he saves, and he, one. He saves half. Right? <laughs> saves half. So that's that's eight down to just two saves. Yeah, or seven seven, seven to two. Down to two. two. That's <laughs> that's going to be Marx's battle all day. Oh. 
and then Nimble yeah. gets one dodge back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, yeah, he just took the one off. He's like, I'm just gonna put one right back. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, huge thanks to uh, AMG for putting this on for all of us. Um, the Bombad Generals bring a lot of our streaming equipment, the cameras, the lights, the rig. Um, they supplied all of that. Um, Endless from Yavin Base, uh, even though he couldn't be here, still supplied us his laptop, his software, his login codes, his social security numbers, credit card numbers. No, he that stuff. <laughs> but he gave us a lot of stuff to help make this still run uh, run appropriately. Um, you fellas from the That's No Moon coming in and, and simulcasting with us is absolutely yeah, phenomenal. Yeah. Um, uh, Alejandro um, from Argentina, his crew built this dice tray that we have. It's a chroma key, and we've tried to get it to work, guys, but it's a new chroma key, and the lighting in here is not super great, so we have about 20 different shades of green that we were trying to match to that just was not you coming might, in right. If you just look really carefully and actually see, like, you can see the You can see though, the different shading. Different gradient from different points. Yeah, so the chroma key works on picking one color, and that's the color that it is. That's why you see a lot of green screens have lots of light, bright lights around them. We don't have that, unfortunately. So we decided to just crop it, put it in the quarter. It's still a very beautiful box. They've done a great job putting that together for us. Um, and then Game Uplink, the guys who, who are behind the Game Uplink have, have just pulled out all the stops to try and make this as, as flawless as possible. So huge thanks to everybody in the community coming together to uh, make this happen. And I, you know what? Thank you to the players for making it a pleasure to be, to be here. Yeah. Is, yeah. I, yeah. So he's me what he's measuring Brilliant. there is two moves from uh, Maul and then a force push. So he can't. And, and this is important. Normally, every other force user, you double move, that's it. You know you're safe. Right, but Maul's different. Because he's, he's got three actions. Yeah. Maul's built different. He's, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's got, uh, he's no got legs. robot legs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Lieutenant Dan got no legs. Query for you. Yep. Uh, remind me the interact. There was a ruling about how many tools you can use and what you can use at a given time. So, because technically... Yeah, so <laughs> here we go. The, <laughs> technically, the best kind of correct. Um, the, I believe the, the official rules document states that you are allowed to use one measuring tool for uh, range and one tool for movement at a time. Now, realistically, I've never come across a player who will call you out on it. And the reason for that is nine times out of 99% of the time, you're also going to need to put down more than one tool. Yeah, that's fine. And like, so there, for instance, he was measuring that he's in range one of uh, the objective Here goes, objective here goes point. Maul. Yeah. Oh. Force, force pull, wicked in, yep. So, and, and this, is, this is what I said. Maul's going to need to go for key characters, right? Yeah. Because he's going to be lost in a, in a horde of Ewoks. Now, wicked but should live. I think I think he's got he's got a dodge. I think he, uh, I think he dies. One, no, it's only one, five, two, three, four, five. So four, five four dodge, dodge one. Yeah, four the dodge. Pierce two. There's Pierce two. Pierce two. Four, uh, is, it, is it five health or six? Five health. Five health. Should be five. Yep, there he goes. Yes. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, hands in the air, raise victory of of a death. Um, he's, he's only small. He's yeah. not have the same health as Han. Why not? Because he's tiny. <laughs> He's nimble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what he did do with Wicket there, though, was he moved him up to strip the dodges off of the pikes, yep. which Han had just shot now as well. Yeah. So Han's put t killed two pikes, which I was surprised that he was able to do. As I said, I, I was worried that Han wasn't going to have an impact. Yeah. Yeah. But... I do think Han's in a little bit of trouble now where he is versus where Maul is. I, I, think he's, I think he might be fine for priority next turn because he'll play change plans. I, I think what's really actually yeah so what I think would, would be interesting is if Anton just let Maul dive Han because you've got that swarm of Ewoks oh, yeah. to charge into Maul and they would punch him to death. Yep. He's baiting him. Yep. But also going for Han is a, is a sensible move. Yeah, and I mean Han's got a chance here that as you say he could play his um, zero pip. Um, he could shoot Maul and then double move away. Yeah. He could shoot Maul and a pike. Now, he could um, try and waste a Maul, uh, a Maul one pip, but I don't think... Um, it depends if Marcus wants to try for it, I guess. He might just be happy to accept going second and whatever hand does, hand does. Philip Schroeder, thank you for that piece of information. Um, green chrome, uh, green chrome keying requires you to shine, quote, neutral light on your green chroma dice tray. Okay, good to know. Just need that extra light going on. Oh, they, here's some slinger shots coming in. Five hits there, I think that was. Spent a dodge and cover. Three dead, uh, well, it'll be two dead pikes because they've got a suppression on them. 
These uh, these white dice have been interesting. They seem to roll more paint than my white dice. Yeah, these these white defense dice. Uh, I, do you know what he needs? He needs the promo white dice. Oh, yeah, those gray ones. Yeah, them gray ones, man. They roll hot. Yeah. Tactical mute. This is just because Tom's on there and he's just like, there it is. Oh, that's why he. That's no moon's comment. Yeah, I was really yeah. confused. I'm not watching the chat. Yeah, it's just it's just Cockles over here talking to himself. I was like, Cockles not. I was like, Cockles at typing. So what? Where's the? Oh, magic. Oh, no, psychic. Oh, that's really weird. The power, the power of that. telekinesis. He's, I yeah, pre pressed the keys. He's got a chip in his head. He just thinks it and it puts Do you not see me there. go like this? Every day again, twitch, twitch, twitch. <laughs> um, but while we were technically muted, I did see that um, the Ewok Sling has moved up, uh, killed some more. Um, and it, and uh, this is, I say, from watching Anton play now, I've not seen it. Um, he's holding the Slingers back till last. So that yep. he, when he goes uncontested, he can go now and get just, these shots yep. off. And then I wouldn't be surprised if he goes with them first. Yeah, last Shoots first with one. them and then moves. Yeah. You know, yeah. and just... This kind of gorilla in, in and out, yep, hit and hit and run kind of. Because cool. yes, he has a lot of bodies, but there's still white saves in yep. the end. So saving as many of those as possible is, is huge. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the awesome stream, guys. I just purchased a TV because watching those minis on a laptop's tiny screen is tough, and I definitely don't want to miss any of the excitement. Well, Alex, we appreciate you watching and, and committing to a new TV Heck yes. um, to make this happen. That's that's fantastic. Uh, we hope we're, we're... Alex has been with us all weekend, actually. So he's yep, yep, yep. yep. Um, so, Les, for your point about armored flamethrowers into Ewoks, Yes, it is amazing to throw that stupid amount of dice. Um, but I was speaking to Anton about it. Like, is he even worried about like coming across an armored flame for a skew or anything? And he just said, no. Um, no. He said, <laughs> turn one, log traps it. Um, so that's impact free pierce one. So that's dead. Like, well, there's three wounds going through. Uh, it should be onto a, like an ATRT. Because yep. you'll save one maybe that, and it pierces it. Do you need line of sight for it? Or does it just happen? Uh, it needs line of sight, which is not hard to get. No, no, it's a vehicle you're shooting. Antoine here, as you get, he, he just moved these. Don't move into more. Hello. Well, no, his his unit leader is behind <gasps> the wall. No, no, I think he did. Oh yeah, it's a horn. Horn. Yeah, plus. yeah, yeah. He did. Wow, this is okay. I'm gonna we're gonna switch back over to this other yeah, view yeah. here. Um, this is so the horn blower is the unit leader, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he cannot he's, base. No, he's charged in with the all of call them. to arms. Yeah, he cannot base all of them there. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So he put them on the other. So yeah. that does that mean if Maul swings, he can only kill the three no, that are basically? No. Okay, no, that's don't. what I was wondering. They just ruled out. In the same okay. way that obviously because they can't base him. Correct. So they yeah. get all the attacks. Ah, okay. But that's so okay. It's, it's the, that's the way it works. That's still a okay. wound on Maul though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, he yeah. starts with one, doesn't he? Yeah. I was like, wait, he's got two. Yeah, yeah. But the one he starts with, yeah. That was that's wild. <laughs> Richard is watching in the background. <laughs> Compatriot of Marcus. Compatriots of the uh, non top 32. Yeah. <laughs> that, what, that, where you are. And me. Oh, yeah. And Dan Zane. Yep. You're not yep. even the non top 32. You're not, you're not even any of it. Uh, I, think, I think my ELO is like. You're fine. How, how, how far down does it go? <laughs> Quite low. Okay, I'm down there. I'm, I'm, at, I'm at whatever the, lo the no. lowest number is. That, that's really cool, though, to, as well with the ELO. Like, the more players that are coming into it. I think, like, last time I checked, the last place is like nearly 3,000. So that means you've got 3,000 people who've played over 10 games at a competitive level. Yeah. That's a huge amount of players worldwide, worldwide yeah. as yeah. well. Um, we have one question for you. Zane and I actually were discussing this yesterday. Zane, are you undefeated for the weekend? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, I'm undefeated for the weekend <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah. So is John. Are you undefeated yeah. for the weekend, Andy? Yeah, shut up. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm 6 and 2 for the entire weekend. That's, that's still good. That's just a respectable record, I think. All right, here we go. Uh, round round two. 2 is now. Coming out. Don't worry, they will f they will tend they will send the cards out into the box shortly. Um, yeah. Don't worry. We shall see. They're showing each other. And then oh, they will show us. Antoine just said, "Oh, we need to move to the box." <laughs> so Mar Marcus, Marcus, <laughs> just just paced a little bit, head in the air, thinking about what command card he's going to play. It's not. It's not going to be. Surely it's not Ooh. which magic. Yeah. First it? game's it, apparently already done. 
Oh, my word. That is witch that. magic. It is? Yeah. Is that not too soon? Because now he's only got two actions. Does it oh, oh, no. but he... It's when he act, uh, he can choose up to. So he's, he's just... Oh, he's only choose up to. I didn't know if he's yeah. just bang straight away. Heal up to. It's an interesting... Yeah, like... Uh, gives him a free recover, though. So he gets force push back. Yeah, so he doesn't waste oh, an action. So maybe yeah. he wants to force push Ooh, the Ewoks out yeah. and then go for Han. Uh, I think so that's, like I said, go for, so go the first for Commanders. Game, um, Andreas Roda from Switzerland beat Mitch uh, Kamazak. Uh, oh, is this from the top 32? Yes. Yeah. Already finished. Wow. They fi that's finished there. Um, Which, I mean, let's have a look. It was. I set a, a timer. It was very late. Recover the supplies. 3 2. Uh, Mitch lost 754. Oof. Andreas lost 255. Uh, it was recover advanced on limited visibility. Uh, so I'll be interested. No, I'll have a look at what the lists were. Andreas Roda is, and I hope I pronounce names right, so apologies if I don't. It's just uh, the English tongue is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I said a time. It was, I think it was quite late on when the guys arrived and they were kind of, they hadn't done turn zero or anything, I don't think, just yet, but they were doing the measuring and everything. Um, but I've got a rough estimate of about an hour and 15 left. Sounds probably right, yeah. Uh, but obviously... Cockles can make an, a, a, a little better guess on time, maybe. Uh, I, I will have a look at the way. Andreas is running experimental droids. He is running the... Uh, he's running Kalani T-Series, 2B1s, 2B2s... Triple BX. What's um, Jeff playing into? Uh, let's if you can find that out for could us. Could you tell me his opponents to play? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, Apparently, another judge needed over X Wing. Oh, so many judges. Easy if they just had a consular. Uh, Marius. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the other uh, Ewok player. Was he 14 Aki Ewoks? Marius so. uh, oh. Silander. Silander, sorry, yeah. That is, yeah, it's the 14 Aki Ewok. Cool. Yep. Uh, yep. Because, because in, initially when I when I told Antoine he was playing Marcus, he thought I said Marius, and he was yeah. like, "Ewoks against Ewoks? Are you serious?" And I was like, "Well, that would have been a matchup too. Oh, that would, be that would have been an insane <laughs> mirror <laughs> matchup." Um, I think you would get past turn two. <laughs> <laughs> just all the movement, you have to cohere everybody. You'd feel also you'd feel for that because it's just that. Uh, ooh, ooh, horrible. Uh, yeah. Now I did notice um, that uh, yesterday when uh, uh, Anton was playing, he's got a chess clock. No, he's not forcing his opponent to use it. He was just doing it himself. I think it's French oh, habit. Just to because they, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. a big thing in France, so let's go. They're, yep. real, they're the real big advocates of it. Um, Bravo for the French, because I applaud them for that. Yeah. Right. So, so Antoine here measuring speed twos from Han, from Maul, um, just looking every which way as to what the possibilities could be here. Um, yeah. He will get to go first with Han, because he had the zero pip, essentially. It, it is coming up to half past. I'm going to prepare the choice for the for the winner so bear with you guys carry on I'll I'll let you know what's going on do some work <laughs> <laughs> oh do we need to have more uh, repeat what we're no no I said we've set the timer for half past and that you, until half past and bang that's it I'm not cool. going to give people who only just joined a yeah. chance because oh. you can do another show yeah. oh. let's do it then yeah give, um, give them five minutes oh, I'll tell you what okay. alright yeah yeah we'll, so give, so we'll give them 15 we, well, yeah, so all right, guys, so we're going we're to be giving away a cutting board here. It is not exclamation mark raffle. It is Adepticon. Type Adepticon. Type Adepticon, Adepticon, Adepticon in the into the chat um, to be entered into uh, the giveaway here. It is Adepticon um, cutting mats. It's actually really nice. Yeah, it's very it thick, very sturdy. And, and as to reiterate, um, if you're in the U.S., well, you same sort you out. If you're cutting. in Europe, uh, Andy will sort you out. Um, so type Adepticon. Just a type Adepticon. Nothing crazy. Just Adepticon into the chat, and we will... Uh, uh, we will get you guys squared away here. Typing in things like, we love you, Zane, we love you, Cockles, we love you, Andy, will not help you. Yeah, Han. yeah, but you can still type those. Mm. We're okay with mm. that. Hands shooting there and stripping the dodges off the... Uh, yep, yep. And then he's... And, then in, and moving away. So he is, he's a, I think he is effectively out of... He might be at a... Well, here's the thing. Maul will have to force push and then double move, and then he still won't be able to probably touch Han. I think that's what he, he was measuring. He won't have force push because he's got to force push the Ewoks out. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So if he force pushes, so he's measuring right there, right? Yep. Well, he, he will have it. He will have... Yeah, and then he's making sure that he's still in range yep. of the objective. Yep, so he's moving yep. just out. So there you go. Moving just out of a double move to base. Yeah. Knowing he can't force push, double move, and force push again. So, he, so Marcus here will have to force push, double move, and then be in the open. So... Like we said, I think he stays where he's at. 
currently, and he passes, like you said, to, to then go last with with yeah. Moore. Yeah, I mean Moore's. He knows he's getting punched. Yeah, he's going to be taking. Is it, uh, it's a seven-man unit because it's got heavy in there. It's only what two two wounds, so Moore should be fine. Yeah, and into red saves too, right? Yeah. So, and it, well, he doesn't surge, right? Uh, Maul. Maul. Uh, it's got into the fray, so wouldn't he'll have one ah, surge. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's gonna. The other thing though is as well, if them Ewoks wait until Maul goes, they're then just gonna move into the Pike back line and start tying them up. Yeah. Yeah, especially because, I mean, depending on how aggressive Anton wants to be, with that far point that you can see furthest away from the camera on this screen, I'll do a he doesn't need top down five units of Ewoks to contest a point, right? He can fully run all those guys around that building into the pikes, probably taking some losses, but saying, I don't care, I'm just going to clog you from even coming this way. Yeah. And then he just has Law Gray back there to just cap that back point. And then all the Ewoks basically sacrifice themselves going to tie up pikes and not letting them go anywhere. So. And like, then Ewoks can dive the middle or that, that safe objective if he ever needs them to as well. Yeah. The way they're positioned behind that line of sight blocker, they're not yep. going to attack anything this turn, but they're within a double move onto the objective. I've now got 13 activations sitting somewhere <laughs> which yep. you can't kill. Yep. Absolutely. I think that I've, I, I don't see him use a lot of his, his C3PO though. Like once that opening turns happened, what do you do with him? <sighs> he basically just does hangs no. out in the back. Yeah. There's not much that. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hang oh, around. Oh my. Oh. This terrain is quite uneven. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because he's got, actually, that's Log Ray, C-3PO, and Chewie just hanging out in the back there behind that building. Yeah. Oh, Chewie's still over there as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting that he has Chewie staying back that far, because you'd almost think, like, it is the it's weakest point of the list. Because you can't True. Guardian a unit of Guardian. True. So the Ewoks can't do anything. You can shoot with Chewie. But I would... I mean, you get teamwork with Chewie and Han, don't you? You do, yes. So why wouldn't you move Chewie with Han to just yep. benefit from, hey, here's a dodge, you get a dodge, you know? Here's a name, you get a name. Like, just benefiting since he's moving Han so forward aggressively like that. Yeah. You know, why would you not? You would think you'd move Chewie there with him. To, I mean, because I don't predict anything getting back to see Rubio or Logre back there. No. They're too far back. There's too many bodies to get through. Um I mean, yes, he has range four, right? But, like, they're behind a line of sight blocker. And even if they get a shot, he just moves behind that building and then nothing can see them. I imagine Chewie's going to pop out this turn and take shots, though. Yeah. But, yeah, is it? Maybe he's been too cautious with him. Yeah, so you can see. Kind of what we were looking at there, two, 3PO and Logger in the very back, um, very well protected from getting shot at. Uh, there are no full Ewoks defeated yet. I think he's only no. lost. Uh, him and Marius. Yeah, well, uh, Wicket. Wicket was oh. he is the only oh, one that sorry, has died. Oh, sorry. We, we are down to 13 activations. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, he he's only killed two from the. Uh, is it the, the orange? pink? Yeah, so you see the 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 pink over there. Yep. Has lost four. Yep. And then the orange on that platform have only lost two. So no, trooper special forces units have died. Just any just a just a wicket. Yep. And, and then on the opposite side of things, Marcus has not lost anything. Yeah, uh, he's had a couple pikes. Yet. He's been whittled, but not. Yeah. 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 Yep, so no no full units, just Wicket is the only. So, so what Marcus has been doing is he's been moving up to uh, try and score this middle point. Yeah, because we are on turn two, so this is a scoring round, so he's going to try and 
I think get he this. needs. If, it, uh, if he lets um, Anton score all three. Oh, if he scores three, that's just, you're starting up three now. Two, now. four, six. So three go to cover, so three saves. Oh, oh two dodges. Three He's dodges. Got one. <laughs> oh, because oh, oh. they're in the open. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saves one. So Saves one. Because so they had the slingers that popped out last. Yes, that's right. That is right. Yeah, I mean, when you, when you look at it. Oh, he took them all on Chewy. <laughs> oh, Guardian <laughs> Chewy. Oh, God. He, so that's why he held him back, to keep the, to uh, keep the slingers, slingers alive. alive. Yep, yep. <laughs> Marcus struck us off. He's got to take a man. Where's he going to do? Both players just laughing and, and, and understanding, yeah, this is the game. This is what we're playing. So um, still still highly competitive region, very sweaty, but uh, player, but players still laughing and having a good time. I'm both in high spirits, yeah. It's good. Yeah, saying, yeah, yeah well, this, this is how this plays. the respect that's between the top it, tier players. Yes. You, you could have a laugh and you're still like, this is this is the game. It, yep. <laughs> it, ultimately, it is it is a game. Yep. Um, it's just the way that you can't control who you play against. Well, no. it's within, within reasons, but yeah. Yep. All right, so it looks like a shot. Another shot into the slingers. I think there's a slinger shooting back. No, because there's a red in there, so it can't be. Oh. Oh, it's uh, punch and more. Oh, punch it, yep. Saves Saves three. Yep. All right, that's not bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's what you want. Yeah. Tactical mute there. Apologies. Tactical mute. Um, it's all right. So it looks like other pikes here just trying to move forward. See, this is going to be a hard thing, right? Because he's going to try and contest that middle objective. We'll get you this other camera angle here. Kind of hard to see, but y you can see there he's going to try and contest that middle objective with as many pikes as he can to just make that be a thing. But, like, if Antoine's going to have two... It feels hard. Three like, minutes to get there. What do you do here? <laughs> <laughs> just so you guys know, Andy just said that with the most defeated, non-verbal looks on his face and his, and his shoulders just like, oh, That's a good roll. That's another good roll. Another Seven. Yep. Seven into skirmishers, I think. Is he going to guardian? Yeah, I think it's skirmishers again. There's no dodges now. Have you played versus 14 Ewoks? I had to... Um, uh, outside of NCTS? Yes. So, uh, no, I, 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 for practice, I got uh, Jack... Um, Jack Jack did, okay. Yeah, he ran it for me. We had a, a practice day Thursday before we flew out. And where did he fur you up? No, but we did agree... Um, so that's oh, so three that's on Chewy. That was, yep, yep. So that was a and guardian there. two left on the slingers here. Stays. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that face I had a second ago, I just saw it on Matt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Matt just had the same, same look. Oh. <laughs> we'll get you a mirror at the top there to look down. So you <laughs> get you oh, a mirror. Nick's telling us he can't see what the dice rolls are, so he's just like looking at us like, what happened, what happened? <laughs> he says he needs a lifeguard chair to like sit up high and then look down in. <laughs> and the, those white dice, as, as we've said, have been rolling almost half, like, the entire weekend. They're doing so. the statistical thing that they should do, but it's just like that doesn't happen normally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And and across all the games that we've seen, it's been wild. Yeah. But in each individual game, the players are like, "What? Yep. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh!" And we're going, "This is not the first game this has happened." Yet. You're, <laughs> you're not the only one. Yeah. You're not special. <laughs> right, right. So if you want to, you know, play a white save army, you can play on stream because these dice are cooking for you. Someone, someone's opened that door, by the way. Going back to what you said about uh, like Ewoks and stuff, it is pure player skill. So we played Jack, 14 activations. So the pair of us were playing it together, kind of like to get the most out of it. And he's, um, he, he was like, yeah, I, I, there's just too much to think about what to do, like the ordering yeah. of it all, like when yeah. do you activate, how do you pressure these objectives. Right. Um, I, I got the win out of it, but we both agreed. It was like, this is definitely more of the lack of player knowledge and skill. Yes. Um, and like, right. it kind of proved like I had the dice. So for me, it was, right, like, right, right. It was right. like, I've got enough to kill them all. Right. Like, I didn't table him. But, but like, in, in, a, in a skilled player's hands like Antoine here, you are seeing the efficiency of how this list runs. Yeah. He knows exactly when he wants the skirmishes to go, when he wants the slingers to come in, where Han is going to then get Guardian with all of his exactly. stuff, how C-3PO, how Chewie are working. Like, he has these this giant machine working with every cog fitting into the perfect place and just and you, well oiled moving if along because you've, you've got 14 activations or 13 at the moment yeah if you've not got that practice then you also um, are going to be slow 
Yes. At yep. Level, yeah. Yep. And he is moving. He is moving at efficient pace here. I mean, yeah. yes, we're on turn two, but for a 14 activation list, he is. He's not deliberating very long on moves. He's. You. He makes measurements to get precise. Like I don't want this to happen to affect the way I play. Yep. He is doing that, moving that unit, and he's like, cool. This is where I'm going. That's it. There's not a lot of like, oh, I want to go with this unit. I want to go with that unit. He knows. I pull this token. That's the unit I'm going with. Yep. You know, you'll see a lot of players will pull a token, and I mean, I, we all we all do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We say, ah, I can go with this guy if I do that with him. If I, he's like, oh, here with that. Ahead. Yeah, he already knows. Cool. If I pull this unit, I'm going with that. If I pull this unit, I'm going with that. Same thing with Marcus. Marcus does the same thing. You see him pull a token out of the bag. He me is like, boom. This is the pike. This is the exact pike I want to activate out of these three core units. They know exactly who they're going with, what they're going to do. We have a shot here That's from the slingers. The ones slingers. that have just been getting shot. Ooh, Ooh, there we wow. go. Wow, this see, there you go. Mark's getting the, the, the payback on those white dice coming <laughs> in for him there, so But no, uh, it's a it's a very important thing and it comes from repetition. Yes. So I believe he's going with uh, so that's quite a, a big thing as well. he might be trying to do that. So that, that pike who stood out there. Um the contesting that middle point yeah he's at five suppression so oh, he's he gonna, is if he doesn't uh, and i think he's been by that token that's in front of him yeah uh, it could be the yeah. unit behind but i think he has been so that means he's not going to count for scoring it either right yeah because he moved up with that unit to make sure he was in one yeah. earlier so yeah he will not score that uh being suppressed like that that's big and i, th I think marcus also passed here with maul um, I think that's what... Is he, is he just passed, is he? I think that's what took place. Because uh, Maul had his uh, token down, right? Uh, should we face up? I think it's probably... I think it's just the camera angle. Oh, he might have just moved it. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. I'm, oh, yeah. He's, I he's think just it's there. It, it's just, it's it just behind. Yeah. Okay. It's behind the wound tokens, which uh, moment that lovely blue hut is rocking the point of view. <laughs> Sounds oh. like there's a... Rules I'm going to go see what they're yeah, talking about. Yeah. So I think uh, it's a rules interaction of uh, when we recovers. I'm going to assume or something here, because uh, Marcus has got a command card in his hand, so it must be related to the, that kind of question. Just been having a nice chat with Finn. Sling, Slingers there, I think. Get six. One wound. So they're just, uh, the call there was to see if, oh, uh, trying to determine the exact language of, of which magic. It's when Maul activates, he recovers. Yes. And so, that, so that's what they're just confirming. And Nick read the card. He said, yes, that's what it looks like. Cause I'm just going to confirm, but that, that should be it. Because yeah. the, the, the language on, on cards changes right because we have a yeah. french in it well, so that was something, something i was actually going to say is there is there has there been a scenario where the card is written in english yes and then the next card comes out and it's in french and obviously with and, in, and it has and a slightly and different spanish the the, yeah. the the verbiage is switched around yeah uh, yeah so sentence structure yes you will have you know like there was things one. placed differently but yeah. like there i know there um, are, i think ollie said about it in one of his games i think they um or someone told me it was one of the uk players who played and it was um a timing or something like that is uh, when scoring an objective it was the the, 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 the like the bait the bait was different in the language ah uh, yeah um, i can't think of which one it was which is very which was massively important because you can be playing something in france and it says you score at this point yeah, yeah. you can playing or, it, an or this has to happen for you to do this and yeah. then you read it in the language it says you have to do this this way for this act exactly so, yeah, it's like, exactly. so yeah. i think that that's what be, they're yeah. that's what they're confirming because because marcus he he shows it to on the carpet in german so it's like that Plus, doesn't help Antoine to like read yeah. that. So then we pull up the English version to see like this is what the verbatim yeah. is here. So, um, so I suppose ultimately whatever the the, 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 the the supreme ruling is done in English. Right. right. So yeah. so Maul activated there. He recovered. He sliced most of that unit down. I think yeah. to just the I two. He took a he took an aim and punched. Yeah. Um, and then I don't, I don't know what he took for his second his third yeah. action. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so Antoine here now actually moving to contest that middle point. He's probably going to score all three. Yeah. This, and this, That's going to be three up. Three up. Which means, wow, I mean, you think about SOS with this. If he winds up going three on this one and going three on the next one, he's 6-0. 
Yeah. And so he's just massively pumping but up his numbers. As soon as you've won turn four, it's like you can't come back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll rephrase that. Marcus would then have to score all three points on the final turn. But if you've with seen, fewer units, yeah, 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 and if fewer you, units that are suppressed, yeah. if you've already lost the first four, the uh, two scoring rounds, how can you do that? Like, <laughs> right? Oh, allow me to to introduce myself. Allow me to introduce myself. Right, I am going to now start out the giveaway, and then uh, bear with, please. All right, so. We've we've got all of the people we've put in for the for the giveaway. Um, Cockles here is is finding our random person that we will be giving this to whenever we. Uh, is, uh, uh, li Evan Paul, it's Steph. What? Evan Paul yeah. is one. Ugh. Evan Paul. I, I would like to have been someone I didn't know, but no, Evan Paul, you were run. You're the random one. You have won. A an Adepticon uh, cutting mat. Yep. So. Uh, I will get that to you. You've, you've got his contact details. Yep, I'm not yep, even going to say can, no worries. I can get a hold of you, no problem. Uh, you just have to... Uh, the, the ticker onto Zach, Zach Teesman was so close. So uh, yeah. well, well, let's see if Evan's still even in the chat. He may, oh, there he is. There he is. Boom. All right. Boom. I see him. I see <laughs> him. Boom. There you go. That's how he claimed it. Yeah, Boom. If so... Mic drop. Sorry, Zach Teesman. You were so, so close. But there'll be another one in game two later on. There'll be yep. another one in game two. And um, we'll tell you what that is later on. We've got them underneath. That's all good. <laughs> Doc, I will send this here since you've always wanted one since you're a boy. It'll be my pleasure to mail it to you, trust me. <laughs> since he was a wee lad, boys. He's been always wanting one of these adapter cotton cutting mats. <laughs> oh, you got to say that in the Ray Liotta voice. Ever since I was a little boy, I've always dreamed. All right, so looks like players here are still just measuring. Uh, yes, red is the color of passion. Oh. Uh, Something pike give me, blood. Give me pike blood, I want to say. Hang on. Uh, yes, the red color is the color of passion. Um, something about into pike blood. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> bathe in pike blood. It's, 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 I will bathe in pike blood. Hola, uh, all yeah, because yeah, yeah, banyar is, is to bathe, I believe. Um, and so, uh, Banyame is... I was trying to say something like, uh, what's that in French? And then I'll see if we can figure it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> so or things, hobbies there. Uh, Cheering on uh, the Ewoks then. Yo comprendo que tu escribes. Bueno. Hablo un poquito español, pero vivo en Texas. Good for you. <laughs> It's what you're doing here is going showing us up because as Brits, when we go on holiday to Spain, we go, two beers, <laughs> beers, mate. No, no, no. We go beers, beers, <laughs> slower and louder. Surveys Yeah, yeah. And then they look at us and go, it's okay, mate. I'm actually English. I live in Spain. <laughs> and you're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's just uh, this the uh, the old uncultured oh, There you place. go. You're getting uh, some praise from your Spanish. Oh, ah, see, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we did have, I mean, Martin from uh, Bolivia was on yesterday. Yeah. And uh, his dad, uh, Umberto, was playing X Wing. Umberto um, actually is going to pop over. He wants to just, uh, like, tell his, he wants us to tell his community to, to watch the stream. Nice. Oh, uh, nice. And so he's going to pop over at some point. All right. So back to this game. It looks like Chewie has moved up to the middle. He's guarding. Yep. He's been guarding. So he's got, what, five, five. wounds there? So. Yeah. Um, but contesting that middle, I'm currently Antoine holds the middle, the left with the closest camera with uh, Han there, um, which I think is contested by the pikes that are just on the other side of this wall. Yes. Um, but they have, they have three suppression on them, so they're not panicked. No, so they need to be shot twice. Yeah, which is highly possible. He may have slingers back here that can loop around and do that no, exact sort of thing. I think all the slingers are in the middle. So I think they're all... Because it's those guys. They're slingers. And then... They could be a slinger over there, but I don't know. Let's see. 
I couldn't tell you a slinger from a, <laughs> a stabby walk. I mean, I think it's spears versus so, oh, so slinger, slingers there. are the green. Yeah, that's your bottom. The uh, the purple in the middle. Yeah, and then you see, he says there's one more, right? There's one more slinger. Yeah, it, yeah it was the, you got the middle of the board. I don't think they're dead. Um, they shouldn't be dead. Oh, I think it's this unit that is moving forward right now. Yep, that's uh, that's their third slinger. So so yellow, gray hoods, and then green are, yeah. are your slingers. Well, I'd say that's yellow. What is that? Uh, the Ewok slingers in the middle are not. Is that a green? Olive green. Yeah, it's like they? a sage. Yeah. So sage green, bright green, purple are your slingers. Is that a bright tree green? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah. currently, guys. Yeah. Antoine looking to win this second scoring round, a 3-0. Yeah. Um, That's so painful. It's just bodies. Yeah, it's, it's more bodies. Painful. You're up five activations. You lose one. You're still up four activations. You're tying up your opponent with suppression in the back, preventing them from moving forward at all or even scoring if they are in position. Is this just Anton left to activate everything now? At this I point? believe it is. Yeah. Um, well, no, Marcus has two. He has two core troops There are the back. two core troops in the back there. I see two tokens sitting there. Are they not dead? Um, I, don't think, <laughs> I don't think he's had. I don't think any, any full pikes have been killed killed yet. Backing off here, I see. Uh, well, I, he also may be putting him in a tray, so. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, so there is a, an Ewok unit sat there with force pressure in the middle. But the important thing to note is scoring is done after the end phase of yes. the round. So, so you would do a. Do a Suppression removal, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and then score. And they're also not technically but panics as well. This right? is where, yeah. in this situation, you score because the objective doesn't move. You don't have to claim it. You're just in range of it, right? Yeah. If you have a claimed objective, like a hostage or a recover, yep. if you have it and you panic, you then drop that. Uh, right. So even at the end, only you're not scoring, right? Only when you activate in panic. So you, if you've been with a unit right. and then uh, you get, say, 10 suppression on you, okay. um, the end phase happens... You are panicked, right? Um, but you don't drop it. You, you don't just count. don't score it. Yes. Okay. And that's there really important because of it, like, right? Because you might then rally or play a card that recovers. Right. Oh, he's killed a slinger unit, I think. There. Um, Marcus looks really excited over that. It's yeah. Three crits. And yeah. Save one and, out. And too. then save one out. So I think he just offed that uh, that unit at the back there that was on the landing pad. Yeah. because I think that unit was in range to move and score uh, in, uh, the uh, that uh, far objective point. Well, they're, they're, they're still alive because they still have the, the two orange. Because there were, there were four there. Why was he so, so excited then? <laughs> was it just because he, just he killed something? <laughs> um, here's a query for you. Could the, pi the pikes will out-punch Ewoks in combat, yeah? Uh, in melee? Uh, not white really. Because that Electro Whip will just... They haven't got electro whips. Oh, oh, that's just a that's model. That's just modeled oh, okay, with two okay. of them. It's, the, okay. it's a capo. Gotcha. It's like whipping them. Work harder, boys. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's basically a full squad of um, six-man capos is rolling 12 white. So that will be f to a hit, a crit, and a surge. And they've got a surge. Yeah. And so there's three it, going through. And it negates the... It negates, the, it negates, it negates all the... Cover. cover low profile. It does. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like so on average, you're getting three, but you need a full squad. Yeah. And that may and that may be Marcus's best option so to just push those pikes into the into what he can in the middle. To but just they do punch the Ewoks punch harder back. They do punch harder back. Yeah, they're black. Yeah, yeah. Into the but black into dice, the black dice can swing oh, so fickle. hard. Fickle. Yeah. They're, I easily. The most fickle dice in the more than red dice. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because like, it's the most commonly used dice, right? Yeah. Like black is the is the most commonly used dice. When a red dice rolls blank, it hurts because you're like, oh, you're supposed to you're supposed to hit something. That's a guarantee. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when it doesn't, you're like, ah. Oh. But so much rides on a five shot core trooper unit. Yep. That's just rolling five black. When you roll that, you get one or nothing. Yeah, I was gonna you say, go, oh, come on. Or your rebel trooper and it's a surge. Exactly. Like four surges. You're like, yeah. well, that's nothing. Chad's yeah. looking in saying, uh, so Tom's, Tom's obviously loves his Ewoks, and he's just like, uh, the Ewoks will, they have no surge, but they pierce. Yeah. Yeah. Where pikes, uh, ha, uh, pikes don't have the pierce, obviously. Uh, but they don't have, they have no surge. Pikes get two white, but no surge. They get no surge, but because they've got a cap on the squad, they would have a yeah, surge yeah. available. So yeah. as I would say, statistically, on the 12 dice, you've got a minimum, on average, is three. You might spike at five, 
We've all seen B1 rolls. Oh, yeah, B1 rolls. I mean, or Brian Bear's if you look at, <laughs> Yeah. If you look at the experimental droids list that are running around at the moment, they're rolling ten, uh, like nine white dice with two red, and you're still you, the average there is like four or five hits. Yeah. Okay, so here we go with that unit that got shot at. Yep. So Antoine a, moving to score. So that's a compel from C3PO first. Yep, yep, yep. Because he measured there and he was good yep. to compel. And then he's just going to compel. There. Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. Cool, shoot at me. You can kill one model. One model. <laughs> In heavy cover with low profile. Yeah. Now, if Marcus has something left, when is an Ewok panic? Uh, four. So he's got... Because three four. now four, hands courage two and so's low gray. So would Marcus want to shoot at that unit again that just went because it looks like they have forced oppression on them? Yes, just to prevent that yeah. from being a scoring yeah. unit. But then oh, that still makes it two nil. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> which which helps. you can come back from. That helps. It does. You know, that yeah. that makes it a little bit better for him come round four if he can help mitigate some more going into it. If so you get to round four. I mean, time is 47 left on mine. Yeah. They've probably got we're on turn two. Map. Yeah, I mean, players are moving efficiently. There's just a lot of bodies to move. Yeah. All right, so Marcus is, is, is got a good spot to move these pikes to benefit from cover from those uh, stacked uh, barrels that are there. You can see it just through the windows of that tower. Yeah, I suspect we have somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes. Yeah, that's what I'm roughly sat around. There's a bit of a crowd of stream, the people watching the stream game now <laughs> from behind. We yeah, got a few people here to the right of us. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Like I said, as we start uh, as we start winding down, you know, events start ending and, you know, vendor hall closes, at which they're about to start opening the doors, so you guys are going to start hearing the loud thuds. And, and you the, might get colder. Of the you drums might, in the deep. Have you noticed? That's right. The draft is coming yeah. through. Yeah, as these open up, it will yeah. get significantly Ooh. cooler over here. That's all right. I'm getting, I'm not I mean, you're, you, guys, you guys are perfectly dressed today. Yeah, you no, got yeah. No yeah, yeah, hoodies, hoodies and trousers. So. Yeah. Yeah. Normal yeah. plans, I took the shorts off. We're on, yeah. we're, we're on brand. Yeah, yeah. I brought my hoodie to just simply throw over in case it gets because yesterday it wasn't it wasn't bad it was just slightly uncomfortable. Would you like to wear my hoodie to keep you warm? Only if you're still in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that big of a hoodie, man. <laughs> That's the point. Uh, no show. So there's Antoine. another wild roll from. I think I think every roll that Antoine has rolled, he has rolled paint on these white defense dice. Yeah. Which Marcus looks up like, how? Yep. How is this? How is he not blanking fully but on these? The thing there, though, as well. It gets three hits after covering uh, into that Ewok unit and could, could only do one wound. It's a yeah. two-man squad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because that's what he's looking for, right? He's looking for that, that but unit he has to just go down. He has panicked it, so he has stopped it he from stopped, scoring. Yep, stopped the scoring, but in the same way, it was a two-man unit, white saves. He just needed one. He rolled one. He got it. Yeah. Um, Call me Captain has uh, asked us. I still don't understand why Worlds doesn't have clocks. Uh, we use them now in Australia. Um, I'm going to defer this to Andy because you obviously run a very large tournament in the UK and run others as well. Yeah. Um, what? Tell me your thoughts because in the UK we don't. We don't, but I I, I think chess clocks are amazing. That's I'm uh, not. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think they're um, uh, a good advocate for for it. As some, someone said in the chat, this is probably a good case for chess clocks. Um, but I do know that Anton is very cautious of his time all the time. He's been playing with one off stream. And Marcus, Marcus checked his. He has a timer going on on his phone as well, so he checked to see like yeah. how much time do I have here. Oh, it's low grade um, courage free. Oh, if low grade courage free, then then he walks in panic. Oh. <laughs> um, no, I think it's hard because I, I, I've also heard counter arguments against chess clocks, like people uh, like who suffer from anxiety and things like that already. 
um, it puts more of a pressure oh, on them. Yeah, so, that's a yeah. so they already know they've got a two and a half hour time limit. Yeah. They they might have any other issues like oh I don't want to forget things. I don't want to do this mistake. I don't want to like this yeah. that and the other. So th they've got all these other things going through their head because it's another conscious decision yep. to hit that clock to I, move it over. So. A, oh, I forgot. How yeah. long was it on my time before? And yeah. It just puts an extra level of stress on people. So I, yeah. I get the counter argument and I do agree, but. I would prefer not to as a personal state because I would forget because that's my brain. I'm busy playing a game. I don't have to go, oh, I oh, forgot it and then feel bad about it. But I, I, but I also it's don't... It, it kind of comes naturally once you get into the swing of it. But I don't, I, I've never considered myself... Uh, or, or I'm quite quick in my play anyway. Yeah. So it's not, it's not something that may be relevant to me. I think it comes more important sometimes when it's these... Okay. So Marcus is just zero. telling us it's a 2-0 yeah. for Antoine uh, scoring in this round. Um, uh, they, they've, they've moved. I think they, they negated um, that back point um, where Han is at. Um, so on your screen, it'll be, it'll be the uh, far right point. Um, I think they negated that a 2-2. Because um, Logre, Logre is, is, is back in the back, I believe. He is, I think Logre is, is too far away to, uh, to give that courage. Um, the, it turns yeah. Out, so it looks like the plan yeah. from Marcus to, or Martin, as his nickname is, uh, he, 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 did, he managed to make it two, not three. Which is, which is huge. Which is, yeah, big, yeah, big deal. Yeah, because yeah, then, then going into turn four, if he can get one, two, you know, two would be ideal, right? If he gets two, he's pretty much one. Right. No, if, if Marcus gets two. Oh, if right. Marcus can get two in round four, yes. that is a huge tie-up to yep. try. But then you're maybe going to go to five or four could be your four could be your final scoring round. I think four is going to be final. So I, I, I would, Marcus, I think the players are, are aware of their time, even though they don't know the official time. I think Marcus will probably start playing as if each round will potentially be the last scoring round because yep. if he can try and just get two points, then that would be big. I think it keeps him in the game. Yeah. And I think that's the thing. You, uh, as soon as he lets him get ahead, yeah. you've got no comeback. Yeah. Yeah, because if, if Antoine gets two in the next one, regardless if it's if it's uh, final round or not, yep. then it's over. Yep. Yep. Uh, so is that, is that Reckless Diversion? Yes. Yeah, Reckless Diversion. Yeah. And... Uh, So you're going to have to shoot Han. <laughs> so what is he? Because he didn't, he still has this force push, right? Because he didn't, he didn't use it last round because he didn't leave melee. Yeah. So cool. he still has that. Yeah. So now he can force push. But he's out of range of he's double moving into He is, he is. Yep. So. But do you go to, do you go for Chewie maybe? What does it achieve? You've killed an activation. And just and another just activation scoring a point. Uh, I guess you know, it does. Like, what's what? What would you do? Would you take out the two too many walk you're still tied up with, or would you force push them, jump over to Chewie and take him out? Because then you're preventing a guardian. Chewie's probably the better choice, but then I think the problem that is you're then sat there in the open to all the slingers, right? Because you've used your force push to get rid of a unit. Yeah. Um, maybe an option would be to kill the two man that you're in because you're still removing one activation. Um, and then it's maybe dive into another unit that's not very high activation, like uh, uh, model counts are. Yeah. So Marcus, Marcus doing a rally roll there off a pike unit and winning, um, winning it up. That's what he needs. Um, why would he be checking a range one between two pike units? Uh, capos to uh, gotcha. aid. Okay. I'm assuming it's a capo. What I think is uh, a good thing to point out is I don't think either, from my point of view and watching the game, I don't think any player's made a mistake. Uh, no, no, I, I don't think so either. Even like deployment, I think was was exactly they wanted it to. Yeah. Um, Maybe Anton might say that he didn't want the uh, slingers to get shot on the opening round. Yeah, yeah. But maybe he didn't have the space, or he doesn't yeah. mind. You know what? one shot he can take and then he activates them straight away yep all right so pike moving up to get behind that wall 
and that's just the capo, right? Yeah. So capo. he's just moving up to just get security from being shot at, being hit with a bunch of stuff, while still contesting that that it does middle, but you can climb the wall over yep. and then shoot. <laughs> yep. So his his one saving grace would be is if he could get other pikes to then come in and kind of insulate him to yeah, prevent to, yeah prevent, to prevent that climb. Yeah, yeah well, that be because then I, uh, then the pikes a full pike unit is going to stay alive longer than a capo would. Yep. Um, against an eight man seven man. Oh, too late. Anton's already going there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, he's just chewy though. Oh, he's just climbing. Just climbed over into melee with, with Chewie. Keeps Chewie safe. So, interesting. You could force push Chewie out now with Maul. I think that you could get Chewie into... Oh, Chewie got the charge off. That's why. Ah, okay. <laughs> He's raged. Yep, he's yeah. enraged. So, is that three? Yeah. Oh, because double move. Like, yeah. Move once and then move yeah. twice, I think it was. Three. No dodges on a capo. Oh. Of course. <laughs> that would be the first time there's no paint on the dice. Yep, and Marcus says, yeah. yep, of course that happens on, on my roll. Yeah, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Antoine be getting at least, at least a little bit of paint on everything he rolls, and Marcus rolls his for, for nothing there. So, uh, Bossy Grimm, there's no Tempest, I think, in the top 32 anymore. Uh, yeah, I don't believe, no, so. I don't believe so. There were hopes. It's because they're all running uh, double ATSD, not triple. No, probably Macken was running triple. Oh, is it triple? Yeah, and he ended up Twister? being... Oh, yeah. <laughs> We'd like to thank all of you guys for uh, being here with us today. We are currently at 268 combined viewers between our two oh, streams. Didn't even notice um, that. That is awesome. Uh, we appreciate all of you as we are doing this for all of you. Uh, if anyone was wondering um, what that wrapping was, is me and Andy trying to get a red, is it a red vines or Twizzlers? Yeah, Twizzlers. Those are Twizzlers. Red Twizzlers. vines are vastly different. Trying tasting. to get Twizzlers like out of the pack. They're all stuck to each other. It's just absolutely possible. Um, but yeah, we all appreciate every single one of you watching. This looks like a line of sight call um, being made here from, uh, I want to say he's looking at, he's, he's looking at Han. Um, yeah. I think he's trying to see if he has him in the open. Um, if he moves to that location. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but then again, I don't know if I would do that because you're leaving yourself exposed. Oh, he has all. to shoot Hanlo. Oh, that's diversion. right, reckless diversion. Yep. It's not yep. choice. If you have the ability to, you have to. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's exactly it. Mm, four. Four. Five. Five. Um, if she's in the open. Takes <laughs> see once again. Once <laughs> Mark is going. Oh, see, Marcus. he rolls right, he gets her, he gets one. I roll white, I get nothing. When Marcus rolls his uh, white dice for uh, for his rally, he gets paint. Mm. But when he rolls it to actually save a unit, he doesn't. The top 32 faction breakdown then is one, two, three, four. Five, six. Six Empire, is that? Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, droids. Which are probably all EXDs. I'd be, I'd yeah. be surprised if any of them. Oh, we we have results. I have some results. Okay. I don't know why it's... Uh, there we go, round five. Here we go. So... Turns out Andreas Roder is actually from Germany, oh right. Switzerland. He's from the same place as uh, Stuttgart as, as Martin, uh, as Marcus even. Uh, Adam Fowles, the New Jersey Womp Rats beat Matt Evans of the Indy Garrison. Uh, that was a 2-1 win on Recover. Moving further down, we have uh, Nathan Nicholson, one of the 3-0-1s, beat uh, Sebastian, uh, Sebastian Netwich. Uh, and also Adam Fowles was also a four, he's now a 4 0 one So uh, two other results there. Um, he just five clones. He just rallied three out of five suppression off. <laughs> five clones, two separate, uh, two shadow collective, and rebels. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. 
Wow. So yeah. I think that's all right. No, no. The only double digit there was uh, droids. Droids. Yeah. And yeah. like I said, I think every single one of those is probably EXDs. Yeah. Yeah. Out of the twenty-two. You mean there's no Gene Ocean Invasion Force? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, droids. Oh, that's a good conversion rate for the droids there. Yeah. And, and it's also what a swing from like Last Worlds, right? Oh yeah. Last yeah, yeah. Worlds was heavy Empire, heavy Blizzard Force, you know. And now we're looking at, you now we're back to CIS, you know. Just LVO last year, uh, or this past season, you know, people are like, ah, oh, droids, you know, kind of losing a luster. And it's like, EXDs come out, boom, here they are. Still but no rebels, no new units, like being released. It's oh just yeah, a for CIS. Yeah, 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 yeah. But a good way of taking, because how many BXs were you seeing on the field before that? Very minimal. Exactly. Yeah. So a good way of a, a, a solid way of AMG taking an older unit that was getting very little playtime, very little off-shelf time, and saying, "Hey, we're going to make this battle force a thing. Get these old units off the shelf. Not have to rework anything. There's no unit card change. There's no point change. We just change this into a battle force. You get to bring this like this. Boom. Those Boom. units are now viable. Yep. Blow, that, blow that dust off. Exactly. And as he was saying in an interview on Thursday, that's how they see progressing and making thematic things so yeah. you're that Ewoks were the Ewoks were the they said the red carpet for future Battle Force releases of, of it's a brown carpet yeah <laughs> get out um, they were the red carpet for oh. future things like this so some all some here just sliced sliced those two Ewoks off yep and, and then force pushed Chewie. Chewie so that hopefully Marcus can get two activations off the center point here yes yep. which as you said will hopefully give him that one victory Point yep. on turn four because I think so. So I think Marx's road here is trying to get as much off that middle as he can, mm -hmm. and then off that far end over there, trying to push everything that way to get Han and that one unit at least tied up, right? Leave that as as tied up as possible. Yep. Um, because if you could just negate that and then make it a one-one score, then that'd be awesome. That was for us. <laughs> oh no, that, that's X Wing with a loud mic oh, calling right. time of the round is not for us. Yep. But yeah, I think I think if I think Marcus can try to negate the middle point as much as he can, completely forget about that back point for the Ewoks and then work towards that Han Ewok. But I mean he can you've still got so many units over in that like behind that what, big circle how building. Many are there? Two, three? All right. Sorry, tactical mute there. Um, we were just handed some things to uh, to try and dole out through the day um, and for tomorrow and stuff. So. Um, So Antoine here measuring um, <laughs> measuring a speed two from those pikes. <laughs> Marcus, Marcus being ever the German, realizes that the uh, range ruler is not completely pushed together to get exactly range two. He picks up, push, mashes it in, and then sets it back and go, there's your, there's your range two. So we've got a, I believe that's a rally roll for Marcus. 
Oh no, that was, that was a Ewoks. Um, Shoes of Marcus losing one more pike, but not an actual unit. No actual units from Marcus being lost yet, which is a good thing. He needs as much as he can against uh, a much higher activation um, uh, list above him. That's just putting the hurt on with just swarming everything right now. Um, that last scoring round in round two uh, went 2-0 -oh to Antoine, so currently Marcus is down nil um, to two. Uh, looks like a pike shot coming in here. We got one, two, three crits, a surge and a hit. So no, he's got a full boat there. Ah, oh, once again, Antoine, nice dice. Nice dice. We've got a solid, solid shot and then another solid white dice save. Marcus just shaking his head saying, I don't know what to do. I don't know. <laughs> he says, I'm, I'm shooting. I'm shooting when I can shoot. Nothing nothing is going down the way it needs to be. So he's, he's trying his best here to make this happen. Um, it's, just, it's just such an uphill battle when not only are you fighting against a lot of bodies, but you're also fighting against... Um, just the dice themselves. You know, this is a dice game. It's random. You have no idea what you're going to roll. And expecting white dice to just continuously fail and then continuously su succeed is such a hard thing to get over. Um, but both players still uh, still smiling, having a good time in this game, uh, despite the highly competitive nature of it. Um, and it we are probably going to be getting close to time here. So it looks like we have a rally... Rally roll gets off three out of five. So once again, I mean, look at those white dice are just coming in absolutely clutch for these players. Um, unreal, unreal uh, white dice rolls here. Is that another save? That's that's a, that's a rally. That was oh. a rally roll. But he, oh. he got shot at um, uh, from another unit of pikes, uh, took no wounds, uh, rolled off what he needed. He was nice. like a two out of three, and he rolled, rolled two out of three, and he was like, yep, you're good. Just All right, guys, sorry, more tactical mute there. Uh, we, we, we were handed a, uh, a box of goodies from AMG for stream, so we will be uh, um, showing you guys that stuff that we will be doing throughout today and tomorrow. So good. It's, 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 really, it's really, really spicy, guys. So, um, um, that was Anne, Anne Richardson, who is the head of the community for, for AMG. She came over with um, stuff. Yeah, and my eyes just lit up like a child at Christmas. <laughs> um, I said we got another big shot coming in here, too. Uh, we will. What would so? Yeah, I think Zane. I think we're saying we will leave the box with all the stuff there. Uh, you can see over during the stream, so you can see it uh, later on after the game. So when there's a break, you can see what's there. Um, we'll talk through it shortly as well. But it's amazing. So uh, we look forward to giving it away for you. Yeah. Yeah. We will. We will start that in the next game. Uh, start. Start some giveaways um, in the next game. So. Mute. Sorry. Yep, yep. <laughs> I 
All right, guys, so more, more action here in this game. Um, let's see if we can get another angle, see what we look like from the other side here. Um, so currently, it looks like... So Pikes, Pikes and Ewoks are in melee now, as you can see in the bottom part of this uh, this intercept point. Um, so they'll be tying up to score this this closest point on camera here. I believe it looks like it's probably going to be a th three to two, three to three tie, maybe on this one. Um, it's not a scoring round yet. Uh, we're still in round three. We may turn four may very well be our very last round, which will wind up being a double scoring round. Um, Uh, this looks like a pike melee. Um, quite a few crits there. Oh my gosh, he rolled four, four ninety crits on white dice. Mark is saying, "Okay, I'll see, I'll see your, I'll see your white defense dice, and I'll raise you white, white attack dice crits. Um, see what you can do there." Um, and he, I think he, I think he took out that near took out that unit. It was a whole unit of Ewoks. Um, I think he took out that entire purple. Unit that was there. I see. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did take out a, an entire unit. Um, so we're down to what? Twelve activations. I think now? he's down to twelve uh, now. Uh, the eleven because he lost the one that was in combat with Maul. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Is Chewy still going? Chewy. Has he been shot now off the board? I think Chewy is also off the board. I do not see Chewy. Is he the either? other side of the wall? In no. The camera. No. Mm -mm. I don't think he is. No, so no, Chewie is Chewie's, gone as well. Chewie's a goner. Um, so we're now down to 11. Yeah. So whittling down the axe. I mean, this is what Marcus needs to do. Um, but how many activations has he lost? He hasn't lost any activations yet. I think he must have lost some pikes, hasn't he? I don't think he's lost a full unit. Uh, let me go check. I'll check yeah. and see what we got. Uh, I'll be right back to you guys. Yeah, Chewie is dead. It's too bad he just died. Sorry, just chatting to some fans. They were watching behind, asking about the game. Uh, fellow German supporters. German supporter, no, and German and American. I didn't catch the young American's name. All right. That's cool. We're joined by a wild Dave Grant around the corner. Let's see what he wants. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, cupcake. Uh, Marcus is Ma uh, Matan. So sometimes I've seen I've been saying Matan throughout the game, um, just due to uh, that's his Discord handle. What's the lowdown? Okay, so he's actually. I mean, this is actually getting fairly close. Marcus has only lost one activation. He's lost Ooh. one full Pike unit. Um, Antoine has lost one full Ewok squad. He has two Ewok squads that are left on one man each. Um, okay. And he's lost Chewy and Wicket. So he's lost three total. Yep. Is Chewy, Wicket, one full Ewok. Oh, okay. And then he's got two more that are what hinging health? on one, I think a one and a two, um, which it's hard to see, but. Uh, so he's doing. So, he, like, score wise, it looks really bad for uh, right. Marcus, but. Actually, kill count. Which wise. actually, he may be—I may be wrong. I think he may be down another Ewok unit. I think there was a, another one. just a six-man skirmisher that was over there. So I think, yeah. yeah. So I think he's lost four total. So it's now okay. a ten to ten, eight. To, ten. Yeah. We have just been gifted some tiny tape measures. <laughs> hello, hello, I'll chat. Ollie, dropping in. I didn't even see. <laughs> 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 Didn't even I'm clock on the. Silent, mate. Silent as a mouse. <laughs> Why is that? The, the Cockles, you look different. Yeah. <laughs> You've lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, so this this game, Ollie, is 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 really really close right oh. now. Um, it's actually a little closer than what we thought it could be. Um, it looked like uh, Ewoks were really flooding, which they still are. But Marcus has done a really good job here to mitigate. Um, it looks like Antoine, I think, has lost four. Activations. So we um, think it's 10v8. I think it's 10v8 right now. Yeah. Um, which is huge on intercept. But it's and two nil. It's two nil, Antoine. Um, we don't think there's gonna be a turn four. Yeah. 
So no, no, I rephrase that. If turn four, four could be the last okay. one. Yeah, yeah, I'd be yeah. surprised if there's a five. Yeah. Okay. So if it's so on turn, do you score? D you score turn four, and then, then you the score the, the double. Uh, so, so essentially, it's a triple score. Triple oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just if that was your final <laughs> round, it was just double. Your eyes, then, mate. Oh, oh no, no, because that's, that's swing, that swings a lot. That swings a lot. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, you scored uh, turns two and four, and then the, the, the word on the card says your final round. So if that is your final round, yeah, um, then uh, yeah, you, you essentially triple scoring. Sorry guys, so, tech to mute here. So, uh, uh, coming, uh, coming back from my game, I just played into Experimental Droids. Oh. Played against uh, Corey Satilli from Inglorious Blasters. Oh, yeah, yeah, The chat yeah. was saying that's the end of your run, mate. Yeah. They were literally going up. Oh, he's a good player. That's the end of all his run. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and I'll tell you why. Comes jammers. <laughs> Yep. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> uh, we ended up playing Bombing Run. It was 2 1 on Bombing Run. He killed, he killed 130 points of mine. I killed 75 points of his. 75? Yeah, yeah, we killed almost nothing between us. Because every time a unit got blasted and got down to two, they just ran yeah. away. <laughs> so he, you scored three bombs, only scored. I scored two bombs, he scored one. Oh, OK. And, but the comms jammers won you the game then? Yeah, so bus, buses moved up into kind of like cent central board. Mm -hmm. uh, and what happened is um, I managed to kill a droidica that was carrying a bomb on its way in. Yeah. The buses then moved in and then Black Suns got out, shot into the uh, the um, the, uh, BX, the BXs that were carrying a bomb. Yeah. And I had a speed two move to engage them. Uh, and then the comms jammers just being sat there. The, the droids are like, they're just so stuck. Yeah. Um, and it, it's just a case of they're just like, right, bus has moved in, blocked. It, 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 unless he killed a bus, which is impossible at that point. With experimental he, he, droids, he, yeah. It, 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 we, you know, we're, we're in turn four and he's done zero wounds to the buses. All right, so we got a shot. Uh, three? Two surges there. Oh, is that mall swinging? It must be. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So he takes out. Swing. Does he take out a, a U? No. I think they're going to wrap in in a second. Yeah, so that was another squad down. So now he was down. Nine, nine, seven, uh, nine eight, sorry. Nine, eight. So that's big. That's big for, for Marcus here taking out more and more activations. Engaging another unit here, tying yep. them up. Yep, and moving them away from, away from that center point, which is where they were pushing towards. That's true. Yeah. Yep. And I think that being a slinger unit is probably a good call. Yep. Um, yep. It stops them from being able to shoot the pikes. Exactly. Now, is he activated with that? Uh, no, they do have a face up at the moment. So they could disengage, but that would be all that they could do. Yeah. The which... Slinger still a black in melee, or are they worse? It's a good question. All right, so a lot of a lot of measuring here, guys. Just they're just looking Han moves. So uh, in term, in terms of a recap for the game so far, what what any, anything exciting happened? Um, how, how do we end up with a two nil on the first scoring? Because usually he just, you get he, one. He flooded. So Antoine flooded the middle in his far point. So far camera flooded those two, and they negated the closest point to us. Um, and so it wound up being a 2-0 um, for Antoine just on, on Ewok bodies just present. But, um, I have to say, like, having played Antoine, what a phenomenal player. Yeah. yeah. Like, the, the, he just makes 
perfect decisions, like almost every time. So Pike's moving into melee with Han. Okay, just tying him up. Yeah. Han is awful in, com uh, in combat, <laughs> rolling three white dice. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It neutralizes the, his output. Yeah, because he, he's gunslinger's gone, his red dice are gone, his pierce is gone. He has pierce, right? Yeah, pierce. Yeah, too. yeah, so yeah that's gone. Like, there's a lot that yep. that just is out the window with that. Yeah, Han, Han's efficiency is lessened into pikes. No, you say so. Actually, um, I, I feel only because they get they I get the dodges that. and they can dodge the. Crits. Yeah, so I thought all of that. Um, so what he was doing is using the slingers to, um, or even wicket before he uh, got killed by Maul to strip the dodges. Oh, that is a large amount of dice. dice. And that's five dead. Uh, it must be seven. Oh, he hasn't used any more seven dice yet. That's a whole unit. Oh, that's another unit. Marcus Ooh. finally getting the attrition going his way with his dice rolling the way he needs him to. This is huge for Marcus to try and pull this game back his direction in this in these this, yeah. winding down minutes of this game. This is getting tense now. Yeah. Yeah. This is huge, huge plays going on here. Um, Marcus looking a little more serious, saying, okay, this game is actually winnable. Swing, I, I, swinging and looking a little more well, doable, so I'm, I'm, I'm buckling down here. I'm, I'm with um, him now. I think actually, I don't think it's his. Like, but no, I do yeah, think yeah. he's actually got a chance. Where he's, until recently, I thought he was out of it completely. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, so Antoine here measuring a double move from a pike to be within range one um, of his back point if he could to contest. Yeah. Um, so. Is that Slingers? Moving up and attacking, it looks like. Let, let yeah. yeah. Is anything like his rolls against me? The, the squad's going to die. Oh, that was a lot of blanks. That is it's, it's two. It's, it's that, then then so, one to cover, okay, one so, to dodge. So, just letting you guys know, just because we're on a high level here, Nick has the time here. There's 24 minutes left. Okay. In this, and then a 15. So, they'll finish this round and then probably get to turn four. Yeah. Which is what we, we were saying. So right. It's definitely right. a time for Okay. And is this is this information that the players know? No, they, they don't play? know. So that's still. That but there's no way to let them know because they're they're not allowed. They just have their clocks. No, no, no. I, I, well, when you said because it's at a high level here, I wondered whether that was something that they were sharing. Yeah. No, no, no. Not to, not to players. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Bodnar. So, what, a, what a judge. So my clock was on 11 minutes that raining from when I started it, so it wasn't far off, yeah, and that's why you need to make sure you start a timer. Yeah, as soon as you get to the table, yes. or if you if you do forget to set it, try and set one with about a gauge. I, I, I forgot when I got to the table, I was kind of said our hellos and stuff, I was like, cool. But I'm going to set this about a, a two-hour, 25-minute timer. There's a pike, pike hit into some Ewoks to almost kill another unit. Um, I think there, there's, there's a four-man squad that is now down to two at the top of your screen there. But uh, uh, Nick, our judge here, saying he noticed both players started picking up pace of play, um, realizing, because they're, they're both keeping their own kind of timers. Timers, it's you know it's not the exact time, but they have an idea of it. Yeah. Um, and he said most both players are now picking up pace of play, and with activations being removed, this is going to go much faster. Yeah. So I think players are trying to get to turn five. That's what they're, turn that's what the, I think that's what, the, what they're going to try and play for, because if you can score four and then make it to five, then like that, that could be huge. Yeah. Um, what shoots too red? Han? Han, no, Han oh, doesn't punch that. Oh, oh, Ewoks hitting back in the pikes. Uh, it's Axe, Axe Ewoks. Axe Ewoks, Axe Ewoks yeah. only one red, right? Well, it's one red and then the, the unit leader. He rolled two red there. Oh. Unless, unless we're missing, unless, we're, yeah. unless we've missed it on the colors or something. because It's a, possible. A black often. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it's hard to different. You, you so we've got a, a crit and a hit, reroll for nothing. Yeah. Two, I think this is. This must be some pike, dead pike. Uh, is it that pike hitting back into? Yep. So that's another another A walk on. So we're now down five, six activations. Uh, oh, has he got a whip on that pike unit? I mm -hmm. thought he was all um, all guns. Yeah, all guns. Oh, we, uh, it's nasty yeah. on the A walks. That's possible, Tom. No, he definitely doesn't. We went run through the list earlier. Nothing. So so now Marcus is scoring that back point, right? So I you look at this. So, yeah. Look at this. The only. So there's Logray right there, Logray Han, and then this this unit tied up with Maul. Right. Um, Maul could very well take out a good chunk of that unit and tie him up. Um, 
This is really, yeah, really close. Yeah, he's uh, Marcus has two units of pikes, three, no, three because his capo is yep. down here. You can see his head poking above the wall right next to where it says hostile environment. Oh, I'll pan that camera over just a little did bit. Did he so lose that, ca uh, he lost that capo earlier that um, Chewy ch uh, punched. Yeah, yeah, Chewy, not yeah. As, so you, yeah. Mar Marcus has lost two units then? Yes, yep. Yeah. So he's down to a seven? Seven, and I think we're around eight maybe on the Ewoks at this point. Yeah. Which I think Marcus may negate that back. Just he might still forget about that back point. There is only one unit sitting back there, um, but he could fully say, "I can run two units, two units there. back there." And then he's not. That's two off the middle. So if he's only got seven units left and he sends two over there, that's right. five. So do you contest the middle, and maybe? But then you still got to do one on the other one, which means four. Yeah. He has to score two points. This to is win. a pike, pike hitting into the last unit there. So that's another activation gone. Because there was one Ewok left in the middle of those pikes, and they just took him out. Well, I mean, that's a god roll there. <laughs> that, I mean, <laughs> two crits. Two Marcus's set. white attack dice have showed up several times now when he's needed to. He, he yeah. rolled four white natty crits earlier. So, what the, does this unit here the, do? The one thing I'm really, really proud of is that Marcus, and not Finn, is playing at this <laughs> table right now. <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 I truly held Finn this is, this to is, a higher standard. This is round. <laughs> sorry, guys. This is round three. This is not round four. The guys are they are wrapping up round three right now. We are in the last last uh, throws of round three. Yeah, this is so um, free. And then we will we will be shortly moving into turn four. Um, only a few activations left here in three. Um, acts are activations are being picked up. Uh, pace of play is picked up. These players, I think, are going to try and hit. Uh, five rounds, if at all possible. Yeah, this, um, this has been a huge loss for Anton this turn. Yeah, like, yeah, he's, he's lost a so lot of minis pushing forward. Yep. Minis. And I think a lot of this, too, is it's melee, right? He's losing things in melee. He no longer has cover. He no longer has low profile. That is yeah. all gone. He's just they do punch him. hard. Yeah. And he's having to double move to tie up units and then get them punched back. Yes, yep. No, this is definitely still turn three. Hello, go for it, painting. I would be sweating like nobody's business in, yeah. the, in, the, in the middle of this game. I mean, when, when, you and I, when you and I play on the you tell me your watch tells you you're, yeah. you're, you're on the verge. <laughs> <laughs> not recently. It's not been close enough recently. <laughs> Actually, I think, I think the chat is right. We're on turn four because that card, that was a... Is that when it's, oh, this is turn four, is it? Apologies, guys. It's, oh, we are right. in turn four. We are in a scoring turn. We're the ones behind. We are the ones behind. So we are ending four, going into five. We apologize. Oh, this is going to be a quick turn four, then. <laughs> yeah, quick turn four around. Sorry, we've had a lot of people coming and talking to us and, and giving us things to give away. Um, so we've kind of been distracted at times. So we apologize for that. Matt Bronson taking a loss. <gasps> wow. Uh, Matt, Matt Bronson has lost. He's 4-1, four, he's four according, to, according to what I see here. Wow. I don't know what they're for. Oh, they're for the players? Yeah, yeah, oh, they're for the players. Duh. So at the moment, Trent Hale with uh, what I can only assume is... Was Trent Hale the Geonosian player? No was way. It, is there Geonosians in the top 32? Yeah. Oh, um, wow. I'm going to have a look now. I'm just going to have a quick look now. I'm just giving you a bit of an update on where we're at now. There's one player 5-0 and at the moment, and that is Trent, and he is running... So score right now is 2-0 is Antoine coming in round 4. They're determining, it looks like they're looking right now to figure out. Antoine will for sure score one on, on his, on, when you're looking at your screen, your far left of the screen, he will score that one for sure. It's um, a big pile. On. There are, in this middle, Antoine has one, two, only two. C3 period. And, and that, e that green unit. But and that's it. So he's got two on the middle. So there's two pikes there. Though. Yeah, so that's, that's one unit. These Ewoks here can withdraw to get a third one here. Do you go third one there? I mean, he's already, he's winning that one a two, two to one. He's winning here though, aren't they? That's two nil here. No, because he's got, he's got uh, pike, Capo, two. Capo. Oh, that's Pikes, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's Pikes. Wants. And then that is, oh, that's Han. All right. So, so, yeah, so you have Han, Low Gray. So that well, could tie up. Nothing. Yeah, so that far right guy is, is probably going to be zero. The middle will probably go so these slingers here, they can either go this way to 
contest the middle or this way to... Well, he's already winning the middle with the C-3PO and that unit because this is just one unit here. Oh, that's one unit. So that's two. one unit, oh, right, two. So yeah, so that's, so that's one unit. So it's a two-to-one right now on the middle. It is tied up on the far right, and it is one nil on the far left. Um, so I think all he has to do is move this unit here to untie that one to get the win. Yeah, yeah, so... So Antoine could swing this to be a shot from the cap of five. Here. It's Good going shot. into one crit. So it's two to roll by the looks of it. I wonder who he's shooting at. Uh, I think it's this unit of green. The green, ones. okay. Yeah. He just takes one off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even roll a defense. <laughs> he does He says, "Yeah, I'll just take that one off." And that, that's efficiency and speed. What's the point of? Yeah. Gra no need. Dice? No need to roll it. I know what it's gonna. It, it appears we're just gonna take it off. It's because they could All right, so now it looks like we're doing. Oh, Marcus is just just lining up his his tokens to make this move faster um, and clean up. Yeah, um, coming into the round four here. So that's a punch into more. Aim punch into more. Three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Only one. Good. That's good. You see, you see those dice rocking. And yeah. You see that I blank swing around. I thought he was I about to blank three, and I was yeah. about to go, "Oh my that's gosh!" Um, I'm but surprised by that because surely, is that, so that's more unless that's the leader wounds, and he's in range already. Four one. Four one. Yeah, four so one now. He, he, that lead, so that yep. was the leader to be scoring that. So yep. Yeah. So Mark is at least at least managing to get on the board. So going into the final round here, going into five, which is going to make it our final round. Um, yeah. Four to one. Marcus to win. He has to win all three. All he has three. to go all, all three. three in the final round. He can't. Or he has to either table the box or win all three objectives. That is a tall order in a final round. So he did. I did see that unit that took that shot. He's obviously positioned it to try and score this unit. Right. Early. That unit has to. What you're saying is they have to kill that unit. Well, I think there's two units there. There's one. No, no, no. That's two units. There's two different colors there. Oh. As yeah. a capo and a, a normal. Sport. No, no, no. It's it's a. a two. Oh, they're up underneath. They're under up underneath. Oh. So there's a full unit. There's a full unit up underneath here, guys. So is, there, is their leader out of that terrain? So are they are they freely moving? Yes. Because he's uh, got the leader at the front. Yeah, the capo is there. Well, he's Austin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, <laughs> so you have. Uh, you got two. But I don't know if that. I don't know if that one in the underneath the awning can get there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. So, yeah, he only needs to score one point here to win the game for Anton. Yeah. So, turn five, we've got Maul versus Maul's one pit. Oh, he changed. That's a bit weird. I don't think he changes that. All right, so this is the one which gives... Oh, I can never remember what this one does. <laughs> the Ewoks ones are always so... Squirrely. Yeah, so if Marcus can tie, then he's 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 up on, on, on kill points for sure. Um, but you can't tie because the score is 4 1, it's an odd number. Because uh, you're going to double score. Okay, so double score. So if he. Because Marcus will, if he say, if this back here safe objective with this one unit of Ewoks is scored, it is a tie. So, and then he scores the other two. So he'd score four, four which would and be, be five, five four. four, and then he would win. Yeah. So that, and that's tying this back one. That's that is tying this back. One. Yeah. So he just needs to do those. He can say, screw the back one. I'm just going to go for but those two. He has two. to tie the back one. He has to tie the back one. He so he has to at least push one unit. So he has back to there. win the other two and tie the back one. Right. So it's essentially, winning all three. Right. But then if that's the case, as long as you've got an order here, that unit can just double move and grab that one. And un right, and un then say, it. okay, yeah. yeah. That's it. Like <laughs> well, if that if the unit at the bottom moves and goes around, then that wins him this back unit. Because that, that would still swing too. If it, if it, was, uh, if yes. it, if it swings saying. in the, the middle point kind of thing. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. Yep. So yep. bearing news. We bear out. So we just got news that uh, our, our beloved Sambear, we bear, has, we bear. Been, has been knocked out. Oh. Yep. No, yep. Not we bear. There's also a list uh, which we will talk about in the next game. But it's going very, very well. But uh, right, is this. It's not. Yes, this is hiding in plain sight. So, um, is units game inconspicuous this round? 
which means you can only shoot them if you're at range one. <laughs> That's what that card was that he threw yeah. it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> which, I mean, everything. So it's only the two units that were issued. So that's these slingers here, the screen squad at the back, and the unit that's in melee with Maul. So you can only shoot them if you're at range one of the unit. So he's not going to be able to shoot them off the point now. So he simply just has to move in a, to contest it. Yeah. So you, you're basically nullifying. What a card play. Uh, what a card play. So activation counts right now. Marcus has one, two, three, four, six, five, six, I believe. Yeah, I count six. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think six for Marcus. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So it is, uh, it is six, 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 I think is what we're looking at here for activations, everybody. Um, six, six V six on our activation count. Oh, is it really six yep, V six? Yeah, I think it's six V six right now. Han moving over. Yeah, it's six V six, isn't it? So the only way that I can conceivably see this happening is that you have to almost dive Anything that you can. I mean, the, the output here of damage, though, is very slow. How much health does uh, low gray have? Is it four? It's four. Okay, so that is possible to, with them pikes, just to punch and kill him. Maul, if he's very lucky, can wipe that slinger unit he's in melee with, because that's a six health unit. Two, four, six, yeah. So. But with the way, the way Antoine's white dice, defense dice have been rolling. Oh, yeah, he'll roll six <laughs> saves. Yeah, he's, he's going he's gonna to save at least more than half of them. I mean, so. I've, I've only seen him blank out. Oh, have you not? Oh. Yeah, yeah. All right, so he's based. Marcus, uh, yeah, making sure he has the leader within range one of that point. Yep. <laughs> Yep. And it's just ba is that base and punch? I think he's just I think he's just basing and punching. Yes. Because Han's in that tie up as well, isn't no, he? No, no. Han has moved to the middle point. Oh, he's on the middle. Yep. He is. He's given up. He's moved to that middle point. I think I think Antoine is is probably just going to flood the middle, um, keeping that back end um, protected with uh, C3PO and those green units there. I think looking that uh, the capo is uh, just out on. Um, uh, on that that unit that just moved into melee there, so. Um, there are there are six activations left for each side. Six. The Shanta collective card was uh, Mool's uh, at last, I think it was. Ah. Um, dis is that disengage card, isn't it? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. It is. It is six v six. So for for Antoine, he has the unit of Ewoks furthest from the camera. He has the green Ewoks that he just moved up there. C three PO, light green in melee with Maul, Low Gray, and Han for six. Um, Marcus has the furthest Pike unit that is maroon. The unit underneath the awning in blue. The one yellow and purple next to Han in the middle for three. The blue guys in melee with Logra for four. Han for five and a capo for six. Um, to the uh, bottom right of your screen um, next to that, that point. So it is six v six. Yep. Activations. What a game. It is like, I think first turn one and two, when, especially turn two when he scored, nearly scored all three points. Yeah. I was like, he's got no out. Like, yeah. I couldn't see a path of victory to, for Marcus whatsoever. And, and even if Marcus winds up losing this game, this was still a very close game oh, in the way it was played. to watch. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, and this is why Marcus is a top 32 player, and I'm not. Yeah. Well, and Marcus had said like he's like he's like <laughs> shooting shooting at range. He's like if I shoot at complete range, then I only get three three dice and a low profile and heavy cover, and I'm not. That's not going to do it. So I have to play differently. Yeah. And he, and he has. It's he, a, Adapting as well, like yep. when you're at this level of play, you've got to be able to adapt to these lists that are changing um, or the game. Like Ewoks yep. are making you play a game you don't want to play, and that's I think that the advantage they have. All right, so we got a five. That must be an e uh, to me. What's punching something? <laughs> I'm not sure. Do the Ewoks have the it was those green. facilities to kill another unit? Um, yeah, I mean, you can kill more. Oh, it was, a, it was a slingers. It was a slingers coming around, shooting oh, at the shooting. pipes. Well, okay, Marcus, Marcus, Marcus enjoying, Mar enjoying those white defense dice. But they've got no suppression, so it still is two dead pikes. Oh! oh. <laughs> Marcus's face is Marcus, Marcus very excited yeah. by that roll that he needed. Yeah. That's yeah. That's Marcus that. very excited, like, losing no pikes out of that slinger shot. That's his first. With that danger close though. coming in. Yeah. Massive. And then rolls off two of the suppression that's on them. Massive. Oh, base in hand. Oh, base in hand protecting that unit from being attacked by anything else. Massive play for Marcus. He is he is he is razzed up, ready to get this this try and get this win to happen. Um well, luck of the dice always balances out. Yep. Anton had it early and now Marcus has had it having it towards the end. Yep. It's, it, it's, it's, so, here's, so here's a question for you. So Zeus Zeus has dropped from the event now. Top 32. Yeah. Yeah. So so he's so he's dropped. So now yeah. so now players who went through on the on the lower brackets are going to be getting a bye. Which is a uh, so chat. We're talking about Marcus Marcus's white defense dice showing up now just as much as Antoine's had. He hasn't had to roll a lot of white defense dice. Yeah. But he in what he's rolling now it is it is equaling as to what Antoine has been rolling throughout the game. He, Marcus, for sure, has been rolling excellent attacks, but six attacks into heavy cover, low profile, dodges. Mar Antoine's only had to roll one or two white dice every time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, like... I mean, that's so, part of the list, isn't it? It's, it's yeah, built that way. exactly. So, yes, good dice, good dice from both sides. Been a lot of noise dice this entire game. Noise dice. Look at doice, look at three PO here, just claiming himself king He's of the got mountain. Some big kahunas up there, <laughs> <isn't> he? <laughs> king of the castle. King of the castle. <laughs> you just imagine seeing three PO try and just scramble up something like this. <laughs> it's very uneven ground. Yeah, <laughs> I cannot believe this. No, we made a land on this side. <laughs> I'll do D2. I did me up here. I did not calculate this. Yeah. <laughs> Use your jetpack. So one of those surprising things was about playing Antoine. Mm. It was the it was like the uh, the interpretation of the of the command of like not the command cards the objective cards. All oh, right. Like bo bombing like like payload sounded like it should be bombing one. Oh, on the when on the, on the actual yeah, I looked, translation. I, I, I listened. I went. Oh. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> it says bombing. <laughs> So Antoine here trying to. So you saying about the uh, Zeus juice is dropped? Yeah. So, so he's like, lost and then dropped. Ah. Uh, but yeah. he, you can lose a game potentially. Yeah. You can lose a, you can lose a game and still make it in on six and one. Depends. So yeah, but the 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 ones who have drawn will beat you out if they can yeah. if they win out. So they will, but like there's still a chance that you make it through. So at that point, surely you'd maybe look and see it like. Look and see if, like, round two. Play so it. six Play. into Maul. Yeah. He's spending, so... Oh, no, no it's no. Mike to Maul. I thought it was Mike to Maul. So that's a dead, uh, free wins uh, up to a point. In a Pikes. Something. Nope, Logray. Gone. Wow. Oh. Yep. Yep. That was big. Yep. So... Oh. So, and look at there. There's one, two... I think he's won that point now. Two Crips. I think he has two. Yeah. Um, but it, he only needs to win one point, doesn't he? No, Antoine needs to win one point. Yeah, which is six. So that'll get him to six, and Marcus Sorry. will be on five, won't he? So, because Marcus right now so is, is winning this back point. Yep. The middle is C3PO, Greeny walks Han, so there's three on that middle point. So we've got so for Antoine. one, two for Antoine in the middle, and there's which? one Kappa. No, that's another Ewok, isn't it? Yeah. So that's fr uh, three, that's three for Antoine, and he can only get two, three. If they both went this way... And, and that just negates it. But then that means he's not scoring this. Right. Maul's still to go, though. Maul is still to go. But then these Ewoks... 
Yeah, that's it. Can just come to that middle. To well, help. here's the thing. No one's going to pass, right? Because they're, well, uh, actually, no, Antoine, that's Antoine, Antoine, Antoine could. Antoine took him his back still. Ah, that's true. Yeah. So where do you? So tense. I'm not even playing. No. <laughs> Still quite a few games going on. Yeah, there's, I mean, we're, I think we're heading close to hard dice down soon. Well, no, to end of... End like, of round, which yeah, will be... end of round, yeah. and, then, and, then, and then the 15 minutes. To your hard dice to down. To your hard dice Exactly, down. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so there is still, like... Is, uh, yeah, if these guys finish, if they if they finish round five here fast enough, then we could actually potentially Jeff, get, Jeff. get to... Jeff, Jeff is also banging into If we get to a turn six, this would be, this would be phenomenal still if we playing. get to a turn six, guys. Yeah. Results not in yet. Uh, no, no. Um, it, it wasn't looking great wow. when, I, when I went by. Uh, John Dunn blanked out on a big save on Anakin and lost him as well against Luke Cook. Uh, uh, ah. So it's looking like it looks, it looks looking like Luke may progress that one. It's recover. So oh, like Ewoks moving to be in range, taking the standby. So if he tries to contest the objective, yep. he can charge them and stop them. Yeah. Which, does he have two units back there? That's one. Cause what no, because they're, they're vastly out of... Out of cohesion, if that's it. I mean, camera for that end of the board. There is two. It's, uh, it's the one health models. No. Yeah, is they not different color helmets? I mean, the the base is colored different, but oh, the that's unit, the leader. The hood, yep, the hood. he heard one guy out to yep. trigger the standby. That's yep, yep. So there we go. And he shot him to shot shoot. to get the standby off. So he's gonna shoot and move here, I presume. I assume so. Which reduces how far they can go. Oh, wait, or did he just? He just did. He just put fire and shoot three PO and and that unit. Maybe because he just put a suppression on three PO and he put a suppression on that Ewok unit. Split fire heavy weapon one way just yeah. to strip the standby off. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So so the they unit under here. the under the awning there. Yeah. They, are they in scoring range of the middle? They must be. Uh, maybe not. That looks way too far for a range one. That is a very big six inches. So I think he just. I think he just realised he can't score from that. Hi, gents, back again. Hey. Do we know if this unit here is in range one of the objective? I don't think it is. I don't. Don't think it is. This so, I think this time is so, around. so this is a, this is it. It's 15. 15 minutes. So they will not. Dice. They will not get to a uh, turn yeah, six. So um, they're probably talking it through now. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're they're looking to see what's what's scoring what here. Um, so they'll be able to finish this round out, but that'll be the final of it. While you were obviously while you, you threw a lot of you and I was sitting next to Nick, we were observing. Um, All right. So he negates that left point here. Let's let's yeah. let this let's let this yeah. finish out because they're gonna play this out and figure out how this scores. Right. So we know we've got three units here. Yeah, I don't so think one. I don't think that that yeah I don't think that far pike unit these, scores. These bin because they punch. Yeah, they punch. They kill Lord Gray. So you've only got Maul. Yeah, I think Maul is all he has left. So I can't see how he gets the win here. I don't. Is Han still to go? No, he's been. Hasn't he? No, because Han Han oh, double moved to get there. Force push him out. Oh yeah. So if it, but then that leaves those Ewoks to score that back point, right? Uh, or no, they can't score that back point. They would only have to come forward the they center. Can, they can contest this one to stop him scoring. It. No, no, there's a capo over here. Uh, so the far right point, guys, there's a capo hidden underneath that, yeah. that blue circular so part. If he force pushes Han out, then it's 2-2 two, because two, Maul would be in range to score. Three PO's up there. Yeah, so two Ewoks. So an Ewok and C-3PO right. versus the, the Lone Pike plus Maul. So that would be 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. On the middle point. Yeah. This last unit of Ewoks that he leaves just double moves to score it. Yeah. I can't, I don't think there's an out. I don't think there is either. But the out, the out would be full six hit here, killing them off. Yeah. And then move in force push. <laughs> you're looking for like a Hail Mary. Yeah, dash yeah. Roll. That's exactly what you're looking for is a Hail Mary here. And that's if the play he decides to take um, is that path. Yeah. So he's, he's done the right thing. He's negated this last thing over here. I don't think there's any shots. To come, it's just more to go. Well, and, and Antoine is done with activating because he went first, so he's going to have to go with those Ewoks first. Is he punching, aiming and punching? Yeah, yeah, he's aiming and punching Maul to try and kill him. Oh. Maul's on two wounds left. Uh, three. Isn't he six health? Three, he's six. That's right. Yeah. Three yeah. He's aiming an iron if that's the right thing to do. Yeah. 
mulling it over, saying... What you do is you take the standby, so more has to force push you. Yeah. Uh, so And then they can't use it on hand. That would be, yep, that would be the play to, to take a standby there. Yeah. All right, there's the dice roll. Let's go. Oh. One, two, three, four. That's good. Reroll for five. 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 Reroll. Oh. That was a surge. Oh, yeah. I mean, shoot. Oh. So three. Wow. One health. Wow. And Antoine walking over to us saying, oh, if if only. Well, no, because he's got, uh, yeah, so force pushes them yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, force pushes them off so they're not going anywhere. And then he can double move. Double move attack. He's got. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Huge, huge play in a 3PO here. Mark, Mark is just realizing how, how amazing that roll was, seeing two of those blanks come in and saving with the one. And this gets him. He needs, needs this. He's got. Whoa. Oh, oh no. wow. Full boat. Six. Six. That's Duh. a big save. That's a good That's save. A good save. That is a nice dice, but that is game. They are shaking. Is that Marcus for the win? That is Marcus for the win. Marcus. Oh. Absolutely phenomenal game here on our first stream of the day. Guys. Oh, Marcus yeah. Wagner taking down Antoine from France with a 14 That's Ewok huge. versus a 9 Activation Shadow Collective in an unreal final plays of this game coming in to make this clutch. Oh my gosh, guys. This was phenomenal. Phenomenal That's play. That, that, that was absolutely unreal. See how that goes down. Two big dice rolls at the end there. Absolutely wow. Huge. Not like there was a bug. Good a game. Anyway. Good game from both players here. I want to rewatch this. Uh, that is, that was absolutely incredible. I think there's a lot of things we've uh, missed or like. Oh yeah. my gosh! And we are we are at 313 of you watching this happen, guys. This is this is such such an awesome event to see. It's such a great contest between two fabulous players here. Yeah. Um, yeah. See, so Antoine looking there. If he had if he had moved C3PO to be in a place where Maul couldn't stand up there. Yeah. So he's, he's evaluating now if I'd put C-3PO in the middle, Maul maybe could when, not have stood there. did he put him up there? I think to not get based by anything um, or not. Well, no, because it didn't matter if he got shot by anything. No, because I thought he might have. Yeah. I thought he was scoring where he was. Yeah. I mean, that probably but even if, was here, so he was a bit too close to Maul. So I, I would have thought maybe gone. he thought he couldn't fit on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. Um, yeah. Yeah, that is... As you say, like, I think if he placed him where he is now... Yeah. God, do do that's... not count anybody out until the final dice are rolled yeah. and the game is over because we were sitting here thinking Ewoks had this tied up at the end of four. Yep. Four wound up being a very close call, getting things tied up to make it, uh, make it a 4-1 at the end of four. And um, Marcus taking two points to get... How many did he get? He got... Four points here. Uh, so Marcus scores four, which puts him on five four. Yeah, so five four at the end. Yeah, because that one unit over the, at the back there tying yep, out. Yeah, tying out. Yeah, so five five four to Marcus here with that amazing play. See, and, and Antoine showing here, like, I, I see three people just over too far. Just yeah. a small millimeter placement. Miscalculated. Um, yep. That could come down to the, um, like, being panic under the pressure of the time. Yeah, uh, yeah. Worrying about it. Just like, knowing I need it. Just, yeah. you know, just move I here, know move I need here, to move just here. move up there just so I can't be based. Yep. And then misjudge the placement. Yep. Yeah. No, that's that's an amazing comeback. Wow. From two wow. Down, wow. First scoring round. He's getting the one VP to keep him in the game. Yeah, guys. If, this... he, if he doesn't score that one VP, he's out the game. He's out. Yeah. So Marcus needed that turn four to happen. Yeah. He needed that at least one to score to yeah. make that happen. Because that doesn't happen, he's out. This this wouldn't have happened. Yeah. So that's. Wow! Wow! That was wow! Absolutely amazing! All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna put this on mute and put it on standby uh, to get our next round up here and going here shortly. Um, we will be uh, back to see you guys here in just a little bit. Oh, cockles! I just had a quick conversation, obviously, with, with the boys. Uh, so, firstly, you can see Martin, li Martin, Martin literally shaking and walking as he walks away to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of game when you end. It's like, what the hell? Um, I spoke to him about. You, you mentioned about the the slingers or the skirmishers, Black Ridge one, by the turn one. Yeah. Was it a mistake pushing him out? He's, the idea was he was pushing him out to make him do something and spend tokens. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, whilst also using the guard, he still had the the guard effect. Of course. So yeah, that yeah, was yeah. the play to try and make 
Marcus forced to do something, which yeah. he said it, it worked for it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just that one bump of the dice roll of that last bit. And uh, the other big roll is the rally roll. Yes. The five of six. Five of six, yeah. And obviously the, the save. Yep. Yeah. Now, it, now yep. it, I know we're surprised with the save, but at the same time, that probably should be saved regardless. Yeah. It's just the way it played yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. He also said that he think uh, uh, Antoine is like he regrets. Where he plays 3PO. Yeah. We saw we saw him moving him and then checking to see if Maul and he's like he just moved him over too far. If you put him right in the middle where yep. he has him, Maul couldn't he's get up there. Just gone. My mistake. Did yep. he? So I mean, it'd be nice asking about uh, Wicket because I think he did lose Wicket too early. He, I didn't ask him specifically about Wicket. Yeah. Um, I think he's at the moment. He at the moment, and I, I would be too. I think he's still in the moment of God. Uh, it always does. Like as soon as you lose, um, you, you sit there and process it. But what is important? He is four and zero with a loss. Oh yes, yeah, so, so he can still oh, make it time. in theory. It depends on how the other games go and how everyone else plays out. Um, because the, the only people who are ahead of him would be the people with the draws. Yeah. But if they've already taken their draw and then they lose a game, they're out. So, so for Ollie, for instance. Yeah. Ollie, so Ollie and uh, the likes of Ollie and Weebear yep. taking draws yesterday yes. could be huge now, especially as Weebear has just lost. Yes. Uh, Ollie obviously so hasn't he's lost. He's out then because he's got a loss and a draw. Yeah. So maybe the intentional draw for people yesterday is a really bad play. It, it's not. So it's not. A, it, it stalls it. So oh, okay, in theory, thinking. you can take an intentional draw um, as long as you've gone undefeated. Yep. Um, or it doesn't have to be intentional. It can be a real draw. So if you look at John, who's about to lose, uh, I think I, I heard he's about to lose, unfortunately, to Luke Cook. Um, but he'd, he'd actually had a draw, a real draw, yeah. not an intentional draw. But that because he's already got one, that's that's the one he's allowed. Yep. So he has to play every other game. Yeah, that's right. So as I say, Anton, if the draw people now lose their games, they're, they're in a worse situation than Anton is, and he could still make that top four cut. We have the full results here now. And they're all in. So, okay, so, so I'll, just go, I'll, run, I'll run through. Let me just zoom in because my eyes are awful. So here we go. Uh, we have, so um, Mitch... Uh, Andreas Roda behind us uh, beats Mitch uh, Kamizak. Oli Dyer beats Corey uh, from the Inglorious Blasters. Matt Bronson loses to Trent Hale of the 317th. That's an interesting list, by the way. We'll talk about it later. Yep. Um, Adam Foles beats uh, Matt Evans of the Indy Garrison. Ben Smith from San Antonio, Lieutenant Colonel Ben Smith, uh, beats Patricio Riquelme from Argentina, I believe. No, from Chile, sorry. Chile. Oh, um, fantastic, Chile, man. Um, Jesse Gilbert uh, Belek from the Orange Guard, I assume that's the Netherlands. Yeah. Beat Michael Barry. What? Dashes, dashes losers, yeah. No. Um, I'd love to know what that, uh, he's running there. A team, a team Poland uh, kill um, Makrozny, who was on our last game last night yeah. against Austin, loses to Mikolai Lucky. Matsunitsky. So he Apologies was, he was lucky then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Marius Seilander beat, uh, beat Jeff. From yeah. the UK, Jeff has his four and one. He hasn't got a draw, so still he's, good. he's yeah. still in still, still in contention there. John Dunn loses, unfortunately, to Luke Cook. Yeah, uh, with three one one, that's now him effectively out. Yeah, he can still got his two more games to play. He still gets his game to play, but I mean, like in yeah. terms of tomorrow, uh, yeah, he can't make it now. Yeah, um, he, don't, yeah. So you've got then uh, Nathan Nicholson beats Sebastian Nentwich, also three one one. So that would be him, un very 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 unlikely to make tomorrow. Dustin, uh, after 52-8, he loses to Octobear. Octobear is still yeah. undefeated, uh, but, he has got the but he has got the draw. Dennis took an early draw, yeah. Yeah, uh, Mike Knack, or Knack, uh, however it's pronounced, I apologise, uh, beat Raul Rosario from the Curio crew. Nice. Uh, Raul is now out 3-1-1. Uh, Peter Lyons from Australia on 4-1, and one, st still in for a shout, beats Nicholas Schott, uh, also called Seafid. Good uh, boy, good boy. Oscar. 4-0-1 beats Philip Hock, 3-1-1. Philip's out, but still plays. Timothy Keel beats Brian Bear. Uh, Bear, Bear we Bear's 3-1-1. Yeah, That's Bear's out. Yeah, Dang. I know. I heard that earlier. I was really upset. Um, Antoine, and obviously they've just had Antoine and Marcus. Marcus is Marcus is one of two, three, three five and and that is all of the results in. Cool. Check this out. Ooh. More high-level thoughts here. Yeah. 
So we had Wicket, right? We didn't ask him. I asked him. I said, yeah. did, you, did you mean to put Wicket here? What was your intent here? He said, oh, I fully moved Wicket there, knowing Maul would come get him, force pull him this way, then not have force push for the next round <laughs> and be tied up and be stuck here. He's like, and if Wicket stays alive, he stays alive, right? But if he doesn't, it's okay. I moved him there to negate Maul for the next turn. That's he fully knew that Marcus was going to do that with Maul. <laughs> That's, I love it. Credit, but like, big play. Right? Like, thinking like that because I because we look at that and we're like oh you sacrifice wicket you know yeah, and, and Marcus says like that did help me that I took wicket out yeah but if he doesn't then but Anton's right. like I don't care yeah Anton's like well I, I did that left. Anton says I did that knowing that that was potentially an option you know like because I suppose it's making him forced to use witch magic early to get to make that yeah play. yeah yep. so it's for, yep. forcing the command so, cards so he, he anticipated that next turn in just that one minute. if he's playing a free pip, then you you know you've got, you've got a one or a two to win. Yep. Big yeah. So more 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 high level play. That's why we're not playing. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm sat this side of the desk. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Hey, so we'll all right, guys, back. I will transition this over here. Thank you, guys. We'll see you shortly, shortly. with some special pictures. Yes, yeah. So before we start this next year, we're gonna take a break. We'll come back. We'll show you what we're gonna give away for this next round. Um, not all of it we're going to give away. We're going to split it up in chunks so it'll be pieces. Yeah, so um, and then uh, we will get another awesome, awesome uh, match for you guys. So uh, you hang guys. in there with us. Cheerio for now. See you all in a bit. That's no moon.